Hello, and welcome to Frontier Skies. This is a heavily homebrewed 5th edition sci-fi space western game with me, Jared, as the Game Master, Steph playing Babs, the Orc Siren, Sam as Alex, the Yanti Wizard Bard, and Chris as Smudge, the Kobold Chaos Machine. We aren't voice actors, we aren't content creators, we are just a group of friends having fun. The videos of these aren't going to have a whole bunch of bells and whistles. This is us, just playing a game. So... This is as real as it gets. Sit back, relax, and enjoy Frontier Skies. The Flotilla. The human nomads have been around since the Great Scourge and probably longer than that. While many races have a planet or system to call the home, the human nomads do not. Their home world of Terra is believed to be nothing more than a legend of their mythology. However, all humans still have a place they can claim as their home even if they aren't part of it personally. The Flotilla, a large fleet of ships and habitats that go from system to system, selling and buying wares and mining what they could. The Flotilla is not much lacked by the wider galactic arm. With over 80,000 ships and habitats, the Flotilla can devastate the local economy of a system through its sheer presence. The Flotilla knows this and has extorted systems for resources in the past by merely threatening the system with their presence. Because of their nomadic lifestyle and the necessity of constantly moving for new resources, and having such a large fleet, the flotilla has essentially free reign to go where they please within the galactic arm, with few factions having the means or moral ground to stop them. So, what's the population of this flotilla? Probably a couple. Oh. Only a couple billion. It's not, not too bad. It's not too bad. Yeah, trust me, you might get, you might run into them <laughs> during your travels through outer space. So they are a very <laughs> large group. What's the population population of Spagus? Of oh, Spagus? Oh, probably about ten billion. Are you counting tourists or just permanent residents? Uh. How many are on people it's on the planet? Because <laughs> average, yeah, <laughs> per capita, yeah. kind of thing, which is permanent residents. It'd be like average amount of residents. How many people are on the ground at one time? That ground. gets complicated. Yeah. Well, what if you classify his feet? Yeah. And how many well, people? What if Opal's on the ground? Yeah. Does mm. Opal not count? She's no. one foot. <laughs> <laughs> she counts as one foot, which means that the average feet Opal's on the ground is always an uneven number. <laughs> uh -huh. Not necessarily. What if there are two opals? What if there are three? The average feet per person is more than two. <laughs> how many did the pregnant women count for? <laughs> Depends on how many they got cooking. Bacon, sorry. <laughs> Right. They're not cooking babies, they're baking them. Okay. Alright. So we have, am I still correct in saying we have 22 fuel? I think so, yeah. And... Uh, that matches my number. Okay, and I think the idea was that the fuel was enough to get us to the nearest fuel station, and that was about yes. it. Yeah. Okay. So, is there anything you guys want to discuss between yourselves before then? I'm pretty sure those two are sleeping. Okay. At this point, I'm driving for like a solid eight hours. Okay. I assume. How far <laughs> is? Let's forget. One per fifty miles. So, uh, how fast do we go? Fast. Is our speed? Mm -hmm. I think that it was like a hundred. We used seventy fuel. Oh, it's ten fuel a day. Yep. Yeah. Typically. So, 10 fuel. fuel per travel bit. 10 fuel per 8 hours, basically. Yeah, yeah. So, we have 16 hours of travel, which will give me just enough time to sleep. Yeah. Okay. We will... I'll drive for the 8 hours for them to get their long rest. Okay. In the right direction. And then, when we stop... We are taking our boy off of our spikes. Yep. And doing the looty loot. Alright. Loot him and leave him. Um. 
question. How much does a feed cost? A feed? Mm. Oh, like a... I want to mess with the population of Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like a, a, a proper feat of... Yes. Like... Taking a feat for your character. Correct. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I also right. want to mess with the population of Vegas. Because you're not my class, so... Yeah. I will say... Oh, they're pretty big things, usually. Correct. They're basically the equivalent equivalent of the um, boost is day to day. Ability score increase. Yes, his words much better. I stole them from a book. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're honest. <laughs> we will put it down as probably around three thousand credits. Okay. They're not cheap things to buy. How much is a band of intellect? Hmm? How much is a band of, of headband of intellect? Actually, I don't want a head headband. Can I get like a necklace or like a, a nice little? But that would be like some places. I don't want it to I think get like it's supposed to go on your head because it affects your, your intelligence. Brain? Okay, can I have it like a tiara? Yes. Mm. Yeah. That was. <laughs> That's a hand motion at me. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, or a pair of glasses. No. Sunglasses. Yes. Sunglasses of intellect. Although that I think sounds, then you, then I think those are sunglasses of charisma. The, uh, sexy librarian. Sexy librarian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could also get a headband. Like to hold your hair back. Of intellect. Look, I have. It all done up already. Like I've got it, my braid and stuff. Isn't that hair clip. Braid. Hair clip. Yeah. A, bra just, a beret of intellect. I'm like, I enjoy the tiara, or maybe like a what is it? A circlet. A circlet of in that. Yeah. Should that fuck it. <laughs> so many things. It's a lot. Yes, I know. I don't know how much, I'm not looking up right now. A yes. wig of intellect? A ring of smarty smarts? A ring of smarts. Smarties! So. Um. Driving through the desert. Vroom, 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 vroom. My shift change comes. Yep. Yep. We stop. We take the body off the spike. Okay. Loot, loot body. Body off spike. What does the body got? I completely forgot the body was there. You told us to write it down, so you didn't. Yep. I wrote it down. Um. Yeah, I meant to tell you your character sheet's upside down. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, first and foremost, his armor is ruined. What? No. It's not like he's split in half on the spikes. Uh. Second, uh, his liver is still good. I could have three livers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, the only reason you know this is because there's a giant fucking hole in his torso that and you can, can see it through. Um, that sounds like it's not good anymore. Right? Well, you can see it. Yeah, that it's... sounds like the liver's not good anymore. It's been, it's like been exposed spike, to the air. The and the sand. spike sealed it until just body. now. Until just now. Five second rule. It hasn't fallen on the floor yet. That hasn't started. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, Sorry, my order of operations was remove body from Spike, loot him, and then leave him. Currently, uh, the only weapon he has on him is a pistol and a baton. Ooh, Ooh. I want a baton. Um, I can spin that shit. Can you hit people with it? Mm, why not? <laughs> I, can't, I think I could. I mean, unless it counted as a... It's a melee weapon. So is it a club? What dice is it? Hmm? Uh, for what this? Is it just a standard club? Or? Uh, no, it's a d6 for this. Like, the baton is a d6. It's got a spring in it that makes it a little bit more flexible, so you can hit harder with it without hurting oh, your hand. Yes. There and so that it goes baton. in and out. Uh, yes, that too. 
Sounds like it's so perfect for me. Um, pistol is. It's okay. I got my dagger. A pretty standard looking one. However, uh, you can see that there is some modifications done to it that look personal. He's got a picture um, of his family engraved on it. <laughs> <laughs> No, it does not have a sweetheart grip on it. Well, this is for smudge. <laughs> um, what were the modifications? Uh, the modifications just increased its damage just a little bit. Uh, extra rifling to make it a little bit more accurate kind of thing. Um, That's a whole slightly longer barrel. Some pieces in it to increase muzzle velocity. Right, I don't actually have another one, so... Ooh. I used to have another one that was a V8. I got rid of it. Oh. Yeah. This one is a D8. Well, I use one bullet for combat, so I'm gonna let anyone else want grab it if they want it. I'm good. Is it also an Ithaca? Hmm? Yes. Okay. I will use that. Okay. Because it's easy to update. It is as good as my rifle, but not quite as ranged. Rangy. Okay. Um, the other thing is, he's got a nice set of boots. Like pretty boots, fashionable boots, or like good combat boots. Nice combat boots. They're nice combat boots. They are probably a little big for you. I don't have heels. I don't have heels. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, they, they're a nice set of boots, and uh, you could probably sell them if neither none of you want them. Um, <laughs> they're way too big for you. Uh, as a kobold, they probably wouldn't even fit. <laughs> It's never stopped him. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, I placed it on my head. I have a helmet now. Plus and one I can cut wheel They now. probably fit you, but they're also not really your style kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, if there's anything else you want to look for? Money. Money? Because uh, you have time and it's kind of like empty all of his pockets yeah kind of thing um you do find pretty much everything on him without needing to roll for it so uh you do find uh 15 credits on him five each and find three ammo who wants the ammo how much ammo do you have 20. i will take one ammo you want an ammo take two then, because you have Archie. That's fair. And last, but not least, cool. he has three uh, stim packs. Oh, yes! I assume we will all take one. Yeah. How do they work? Are they just like a, like a bonus action? Bonus action stab? Yeah. Stab somebody else? Yep. Yes. Can you dart somebody else? No. They are a thing that you have to slam into somebody hard and potentially press a button at the same time. Okay. So. I'm good at doing that. Do you know how an insulin shot works? Yes, that's exactly the same thing. <laughs> Having said that, how do they work? Uh, I don't remember know. the mechanism for it. I don't exactly. care about the mechanism. How many numbers do we get? Oh, there's this, these ones are standard uh, health uh, potion. 2d4 plus 2? Yeah. Wait? Yep. Yeah. It is? Okay. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same. <laughs> I'm not looking at it right now, so. We're used, we're used to having varies. a healer. <laughs> Although we did have yeah, it says 2D4 a business plus 2, in 4D4 plus 4 and health then... potions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The guy's name tag says his name is Paul. That's too bad for Paul. So, after looting his body, 
This is pretty much all you find besides maybe gloves, which are fingerless, but not very... They're not in good condition anymore. <laughs> yeah, I, as soon as we're like, cool, we got this, I go back on into the banshee. Okay. And I finally lay down to get my sleep. <laughs> okay. Um... Should we keep driving? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. We have oh, yeah. eight hours left. Okay, let's, let's go. Do you want? Do you want to drive? I'll drive. Okay. I'll be your. I'll be your backseat driver. So, getting back in the banshee. <coughs> yes. And heading out. Yes. Uh, you guys are going towards the station that you're trying to get to. Yep. Can I finally long rest? Yes. Hey, you be hurty. You I have 11 hit points. Which isn't great. Huh. Much better. Much, 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 much better. All right, you drive for eight hours. Okay. Um, coming up on the eight hours, you guys can see this station uh, up ahead. You pass through multiple badlands and foothills and uh, at least one mountain range to get here. Sweet. Um, uh, and you see, you know, the standard station with like a, what is the thing that is used to, it's above the pumps. The like canopy? A, the canopy of the station uh-huh. with a little like building next to it. it looks like a standard, you know gas station that you would see on any other world. Um, and you guys get there. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are you doing? Is there a people there? Yeah. Uh, not that you can see. It looks like another abandoned one, or? Uh, the little building has a giant like metal door uh, on it that looks like super secure. Uh, there are big bars across the window. Um, Does it look like it was reinforced? Yeah. Or like there's any other it things like that have been added? It reinforced and things were added to it. And... So there's probably people here. Yeah. So we just go pretend we're just gonna buy gas and then steal it? It's probably a pay at the pump like the last one. Yeah, but which we, we stole too. Yeah, but if there's people in there they might object to us unpaying at the pump. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> <Unpaying>. <laughs> Actually, we have windows. a credit here. Right. <laughs> Just put it on my tab. Look through the windows. They're all tinted. I look through the windows. With a flashlight. They are even more tinted. The they windows can... are changing, guys. They don't like white. I Fuck go it. to the door. Mm-hmm. Does it have Same. a door knob? No. A handle? No. A way to open it? Not that you can see. Want to hack it? Yep. Uh-huh, okay. We're just starting to fill yeah. up the vehicle. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Smudge is making bad decisions. Free gas, please. I'm making bad yeah, decisions. I'm trying to find out if there are people that we have to drink. Okay. Can I, I was going to say, can I help, but like, probably not. <laughs> Opal, can I find... Opal um, can help you, I'm sure. Right. Um, signs of life. Like, recent signs of life. Roll for that hacking. Would be like, a ventilation, maybe? Survival. Opal help? Sure. Yeah. It's not an investigation of the building? Sure, investigation would be up there. Oh, right, it's that one, right? Yeah, it's that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 18. 18. And for you? Oh, 14. I'm gonna keep an eye <coughs> on where Smith is going, okay. but keep guard on Alex, basically. Alright. Um, Smudge, you can see a few vents. Uh, up top on the top of the building. Mm-hmm. Um, you can also see that there's definitely like some form of power to it because you can hear a like low rumble as if something is sucking in air. So it sounds like there's AC running. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there's definitely signs of life here and at least something that's been maintaining this stuff because. That shit would have broken down a while ago. Yeah, the thing people broke down recently. Yeah. Um. Alex, you do a hacky hack on the pump. Yeah. Uh, you are go- beep, boop, 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 going. Beep, boop, 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 boop. 
beep boop 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 uh, you get to, like, the admin screen, and you start, like, messing around with it, and that is when, uh, it freezes, uh-huh. and, uh, a speaker crackles to life in the canopy, and you see a little screen pop up on the, like, pump screen, um, and it's, like, a video feed. And, uh, you see a kind of, uh, half-elf man, uh, there. Uh, he's basically just got a vest on, uh, and that, and, like, a little, like, hat. Yeah. Um. Does it look like a uniform? Not really. Um, but you hear the speaker, uh, him say, Well, hello there! I see you're trying to get into my pumps there, and, uh, oh! And he kind of looks up at, like, the camera and goes, Well, didn't realize I had, um, a pretty lady at my pumps. Pretty ladies. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's more than one of you. And he's, like, he's kind of, oh, yeah. like, looking at the screen, <laughs> like, trying to, like, see. You're just out of his eye of, like... Eye of light. Wait. <laughs> Line of sight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. You, uh, but you, like, directly in front of him, he's like, ah, anyway, um, can't really be letting you do that. Uh, you know, all of us need to make a living and all that. All right. Um, of course, I could be persuaded for anything else, and uh, I'm just kidding now, unless, you know. Um, Can I make the video go away and continue talking? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Can I do that? Can I try? You can roll another arcana. Alrighty, alrighty. Opal's still helping me? Uh, sure. Can I locate other cameras? There's definitely some on every pump. Ooh, no, yeah, like right? I mean around the building and All right. where I'm in. Roll another investigation. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Hello. All right. Um, you kind of go, uh huh, uh huh. Uh-huh. Do, 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 do. And this little like camera feed goes away. Uh, and you hear this speaker go, "Hey, hey, stop that!" Oh no, we're going through a tunnel. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, uh, you're breaking up. And. Uh, well, 19 for cameras. Okay. Um, you see a few others, like, up on the top of the canopy and one near the front door of the, uh, building. Um, there's probably a couple more that you can't find, but as far as you're aware, there's, like, at least half a dozen. We should have rolled up with a body on the plow. <laughs> <laughs> we just need some um, intimidation. Is there easy roof access above the door? Like, is that a blind spot? Mm, no. No, I mean, like, is it a blind spot? For the cameras? Yeah. Uh, no, there's enough cameras that you could probably see that area. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, I found a blind you... spot anyway. <laughs> you hide? It's just not on the roof. <laughs> You... I want easy door access. Uh, here, as you're like going through the hacking part of it, mm-hmm. uh, something kind of like the mechanical like whirring sound as part of the canopy opens up, and you see like a large gun descend and like you stop and point <laughs> at you, and it's like, "Hey, hey, stop that!" Keep going. Someone point out that you're around explosives. Yeah, yeah. Mm, good mm. point. We have explosives. You you blow me up, we, the whole thing goes blow. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of uh, chuckles and goes, "Well, that's all right. I'm like 80 feet underground right now, so." Oh, good to know. We'll be there in a moment. No, don't. Make me destroy your overcompensation gun. (laughs) (laughs) Roll me an intimidation check. I can. 
16. <laughs> he says, overcompensation? That ain't overcompensation. I can show you overcompensation. I'm sure you can. Yeah. You seem to have a lot for overcompensating to for. <laughs> yeah. Insults. I throw you insult. <laughs> Go, insult. I choose you. We <laughs> just chuck him in a barrel. <laughs> um, I do continue. You do continue? I do continue. Okay. Um, he's like, oh, come on, please. I need the credits. For what? To get off this godforsaken planet. Mm. Okay, I reduce the price. I won't make it completely free. Fuck him. <laughs> but it's basically free. <laughs> He, he kind of, like, you can hear yeah, a, over the speakers, like, furious typing. <laughs> <laughs> what a considerate discount. Right? From our new friend. Yeah. <laughs> he, he did say we're very pretty ladies. Well, he said you're a very pretty lady. That's true. And, uh, so, yeah, that's, a that's, uh, do for a discount. Yeah. You hear the furious typing of, like, him, like, trying to get back into the system mm -hmm. and that um and he says oh i can't sell it for that amount don't do this to me if you're not overcompensating why don't you come up here and show us <laughs> right us uh, ladies here like we don't quite believe ya oh god how would he <laughs> <laughs> he kind of like again you can still hear the like the furious typing is like oh come on don't don't be like that i look if if you pay full price for the fuel i can give you a discount on all my other services what other services i can do a tune up on your vehicle i don't think just kind of like to... try and make eye contact with much like do we need a fucking tune up <laughs> i cocked my gun <laughs> okay. Sorry, we don't need oh, we that. We have a mechanic. Yeah. I can uh, uh I can set you up with uh, like a really good engine. We have twelve. <laughs> we don't need how more. How good? Uh, how does a uh, Promethean Slipnir sound? I don't know. How does that fucking sound to me? Uh, that's a star engine. The Banshee is a spaceship now. <laughs> it's not meant for a land vehicle. He's offering you like an engine for a uh, like, spacecraft yeah why don't you use that to get off this planet he says well because i have like three of them that didn't answer the question because i don't have a ship <laughs> i need to buy a hull how much are hulls quite a lot <laughs> roughly eh, you know like they can go for a hundred thousand credits Ew. <laughs> I'm gonna just steal that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, damn it! Hey, cocking no gun. No, I almost said hey, cock. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she likes to talk to her dick. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you understand. Up or down? Uh, yes. Wait, did you say to her? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> she likes to talk to her dick. Yeah. And she said, hey, cock. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I just say, because she's much to cocked as gun. Therefore, I'm like, <laughs> she likes to talk is to her dick. Good it's fine. Cock, bad cock? I'm sure you understand. <laughs> yeah. He's like, well, you know, I'm fine with that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do we want this engine? Yes, no. What kind of prices are we talking? And I do, do I know what kind of prices we should be talking? Right? Um, okay, ma'am. Shoot us, shoot us with this is lame. Shoot money us. Yeah. He is <laughs> basically doing. I do a quick space <laughs> research. <laughs> Ten <laughs> credits per fuel. Yeah. What? Uh, the yeah. average for the planet is usually somewhere around nine. No, but the engine. So yeah. The engine. Uh. We're not paying full price on the fuel. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> for the engine on an open market, that particular engine usually goes for a hundred thousand credits. Okay. 
Why don't he has is he offering? What the does this man have a brain? He has three no. of these engines worth a hundred thousand. Yeah. yeah, could go buy a whole dozen. So you're saying if we pay full price on the fuel, you'll give us two of these engines? star engines? Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I can give you one. You said two, I yeah. think. Yeah, you only need one for a ship. I definitely heard two. I, I need at least two for an eraser. Why are you racing? Where are you going? Not off this fucking planet, no, he, apparently. He's not going anywhere at the moment. Right? <laughs> Look, I did... I just need at least my like two of them for my my racer that I'm trying to build, which doesn't have a hull. I mean, I'm working on it. Some kind of pressure this guy. <laughs> Should we? Can we see the star engine? It's like I mean, I can show it to you. Yeah. I want my mechanic to check it before we. Can we verify its authenticity? Oh, there's the mechanic. <laughs> Our third pretty lady. Put your fake tits on. <laughs> Put my hair in. <laughs> I mean, I can show it to you on the screen. Oh, well, that's something. Mm, but it's not an inspection. He could just be selling us something completely broken. All right. Or it could just be a Photoshop. Mm -hmm. It can't be a picture. Oh, all right. He sends out a live feed of his fucking garage. <laughs> What's in the garage? Uh, it looks like a bunch of like different engines. He's got several like land vehicle engines, <laughs> um, a bunch of tires, uh, a few tanks of like nitro, um, some other accelerants, some welding gear. You can see. Uh, off in, like, the far wall, there's, like, three... Keep in mind, these things are, like, the size of the Banshee. <laughs> uh, you can see three, uh, uh, star engines. The star en engines are the size of Banshee? Yeah. How are we supposed to transport? We turn this into information. Yeah, I can't do <laughs> No data, no data transfer? Mm. Mm. He can offer you a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> you have to drive safely if that's the case. I mean, we have to drive safely. If we encounter troubles, we can whack more people at the same time. <laughs> Don't jackknife us. <laughs> How much gas can we hold? How much gas do we need and can hold? Um, how far away is the city? The facility? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because that's what its name is. Facility. Yeah. Uh, Felicity. Probably mm -hmm. got another few days. So we need like 30 fuel. Yeah. Which is 30 fuel would be 30 credits? Yeah. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do the thing again where I accidentally did the math wrong and he gives it to me. <laughs> oh, okay, that's that makes way more sense because I'm like we could get it for thirty, <laughs> or we can get a star shippy engine, yeah. yeah, and a trailer, and a trailer. Yeah. That's a trailer bonus. The deal. Yeah, we should get extra fuel. Hmm. We don't want to fucking mm. wind up the same way. Yes. Should we have a get like 60 then? Or might be more like 50? 35? Just pick a number that's easily divisible by 3. 60. What are the present fuel deposits in this depot? Uh, he's got two giant tanks worth of hydrogen. That doesn't tell me anything. Um, more than 60? <laughs> yeah, I'd more than 60. Just... He has like somewhere around like 600. What is it? Hmm? Hydrogen is the, oh whoops. Hydrogen might do it as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about the helium? Yeah, hydrogen <laughs> will do that. Yeah. Oh, still not good for you. Don't huff our fuel. <laughs> 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 yeah, or else you end up like this guy. <laughs> That's one way to to tell if someone's been uh, into the fuel. It wasn't me. <laughs> 
I don't know. It just that Jazz, doesn't sound like that here? good of a deal. Mm -hmm. Jazz, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> that just doesn't sound like that good of a deal to me. Yeah. He's like, I, I mean, look. Uh, How did you make the doors? <laughs> What? The doors. Um, on your building that you're hiding in. Under. I, mean, uh, I used a bunch of scrap metal from the bandits that came around here trying to take the fuel for themselves. <laughs> you want like a like a quieter vehicle? Absolutely not. What do you have? <laughs> <laughs> do you have any bikes? Like motorized ones. Motorized bikes I've got, yeah. Here, have a bicycle. No, I would like a unicycle, please. <laughs> well, you just like tie it to the back of the banshee and just resume. <laughs> I mean, I also have a tank bus if you want that. A banshee. A tank bus? A tank bus. I really think you should let us come take a look. Mm. You promise not to shoot up the place? As long as you don't shoot us up. Sure. What are your names? <laughs> Silence. <laughs> um, mm. Trish. Bartholomew. <laughs> Jim. What? I'm Jim. Jim? I'm Jim. That's a... I mean, that's a very feminine name. Yeah. It's very, uh... I, I'm sure... I, I have a cousin. Her name's Jim, too. Yep. <laughs> she also talked to her cock. <laughs> <laughs> This is, uh, uh, all right, my name's Clayton. Clayton. All right, Clayton. Can we um, come in and check out the merchandise? All right, sure. Thank you, sir. He says, mm. all right, all right, fine. He, like, you, do you see all the screens on the pumps, the like, pump. turn hmm? off? Did claim mm -hmm. it so, like, they can't be used at all? Yeah, power's been shut off to them. She wanted yeah. it, but did you what take you the baton? Does anyone want the baton? I thought I wasn't allowed the baton. I, I don't think it's a better dagger for me. I don't think I can use the baton. I can't. You use can use club. quarter staffs. I yes. can use all the weapons. The baton is a simple weapon. I can't use simple weapons. Wizard. <laughs> I've got very specific, very specific mm. weapons. I can use daggers, darts, slings, quarter staff, light crossbow, short. Oh no, simple short. Wait, simple shotgun. Here. Simple pistol simple short gun. <laughs> and machine pistol. Like. Hey. Take the baton. Okay. Because it's just a, like... Wait, you can use daggers. I can yeah. use daggers, yeah. I have daggers. I don't have batons. I want a baton. You gonna give me a dagger? Yep. Okay, I have two daggers now. I've probably got spare daggers. Alright. <laughs> don't have them written down, though. Um, well, I have it. Ah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so you guys... Is Make... this your your workaround for not shoot up the place? Yes. <laughs> you have uh, him. He shuts down the pumps. Yes. And he's like, "All right, just give me a minute." Right. I mean, this takes a few moments to get going. And you see, like a little, like kind of pipe suddenly kind of extend out of the building. Right? Wait, there'd be strength with that. And then you see... Yes. Uh, it Sad starts face. to, like... I don't want it. <laughs> you see it start to just belch fire yeah. out of this pipe. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly, next to the building, you see the ground start to lift up. Mm -hmm. As a large uh, hidden door reveals itself out of the ground. It's big enough to fit like multiple vehicles on it 
um, and you can hear the like hydraulic straining to lift this piece up. Uh, and then you see a uh, like piece of like a ramp extend out and then drop down so that there's a gentle slope to an underground area. Um, I observe the underground area. It looks well lit. Um, it does look like it leads into the garage area. Um, I have an account of like multiple pieces of the floor looking the same. I scurry inside. Correct. Alright. Uh, walk the banshee. <laughs> I thought you said you walk the banshee. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Here, Banshee. Time Wait, for walkies. Do you want me to do the uh, alarm? It takes a while, doesn't it? I could do it in a I mean, you could also seconds. drive the vehicle into this, but. It's an enclosed space and very loud. Yeah. It'll take six seconds. Mm. But no, I can't. Never if mind. We blow, if we blow out his eardrums, oh, maybe we can it. take all his stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, so you guys go into the uh, area. Yes. You do hear the. Uh, door start to close behind you. As, yep, yep. It's like, I gotta close it for weather's purposes and keeping the mechanical pieces safe and out of the weather. She brought the banshee out. We'll be fine. Alright, take us down. I mean, it's a walking. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we walk down? No. Well, we're not at your airport. You have mm-hmm. to. There's no elevator to go down? It's, well, no, it's not like one of those, like, moving... Mmm, some part belt. of me says, nah. Both ways, it's not, <laughs> yeah, it's it's not a conveyor belt walk that you have to actually move your feet. Damn. Too bad. It's, it's not a conveyor belt buffet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Wait, she's used to being on the conveyor belt? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a <laughs> One way to be passed around. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so we continue in. Yep. Yeah. Um, you do get to a place where you're like, okay, yeah, here's the garage area he was showing us in the live feed. Mm-hmm. Um, it is behind like a large piece of glass. Um, I go around to the glass and examine the engines. <clears throat> Is it completely blocked off? Yeah, it's blocked off, that yeah. area. I go around the glass. <laughs> um, <laughs> Start digging. There's gotta be a door somewhere. It's it's one of those... You're going down a corridor, and it's kind of like... It's an area that goes in between, like, two work... Like, garage work areas. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's just windows on either side of this hallway. Okay, okay. Um, is, and is this the people hallway, or is it a... This is meant hallway? for a vehicle okay. hallway. It also looks like those walls do lift up. <laughs> um, you can see that there's like seams in the ceiling for them to disappear into. I want wheelies um, now. It looks like he's probably just cordoned it off so that uh, it directs you towards a particular area. I search for a doorway to examine the engines. <laughs> there's no doorway on these walls. But uh, you can see... There's probably a doorway in front of us. Yeah, at the far end, there's a doorway. I go through the doorway and right. search for a second doorway. <laughs> He's on his way! Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> um, you get to that door. Mm-hmm. You open it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a, another like kind of garage door that opens up. Uh, and... I open it exactly enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thanks. Uh, it's just like a button press. It just goes up. Um, you duck under it. Yep. <laughs> uh, and you hear uh, Clayton say, All right, I'll, I'll be out in just a second. Yeah. Have I found a doorway to the rest of the uh, garage? garage? Not yet. Have I found a button for the doors on the garage? <laughs> I search. Uh, <laughs> this area. I find it. <laughs> <laughs> this area find looks like <laughs> looks like it's meant to be like a kind of lounge area. It's got like a few chairs. They look like kind of those like 
you know those chairs and like the waiting rooms of like the garages like where they do your oil change or clean up your vehicle, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. They look like those chairs that are slightly uncomfortable to sit on. Mm -hmm. You don't want to spend a whole lot of time there. <laughs> also smells like motor oil in mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Um, the ventilation is going nuts. Like, you can hear it. But, yeah, it's it smells awful here. Um... I am investing this, this, into prestidigitation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. There's three of them. Clayton, Clayton, and Cletus. Um, <laughs> Time sphere. You can see that, like, he... There's a bunch of, like, posters up, um, all along this lounge area. It's all just naked women. Mm, great. Yeah. Can you feel right at home? Mm, yeah. <laughs> You know, kind of. And, Although I'm used to more men. And it's like of every single race you could possibly think of. There's like something that looks like a jellyfish pinned up on one spot that like... Damn it, Space Japan. You're not sure if it's in a seductive pose, but you can only imagine that it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'd really... Found. Um, but yeah, <laughs> of every kind of creature. Well, at least that uh, hopefully means he's not racist. Uh, I think he's just horny. Yeah, but we can deal with horny. Yeah. You can. Yeah, but I can. I don't think you want me to deal with horny. No, probably not. To be honest, I don't think, yeah, I want to be peaceful because... I mean, he might not mind that. Wow! <laughs> okay, where is he? Um, you hear a, like, doorbell. Or not a doorbell, like a... Ding, 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 ding. Door like a, a chime. You know those elevator chimes? Where it's like... Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, you hear one of those. Uh, and you see on one of the walls two, like, metal doors slide open. Uh, and he's like... Hey there! Um, he's about, like, well, one, he is a very thin guy. Uh, he's got nothing but, like, a vest that looks like it has, like, a fur lining mm -hmm. on, and, like, a pair of, like, ratty old pants on. There's, like, little, like, rebel cap on. Uh, you can see, like, his hands are definitely, like, stained with oil kind of thing, and like, not in the like, oh yeah, he's been working recently. His hands just are stained at this point with oil. Yeah. Um, uh, he says, hey there, oh. How tall is he? He's about like, maybe five foot seven. He's not a very intimidating looking guy. That's fine, it matches his voice. <laughs> um, he, it, looking at him like more closely now than before, where he was like a small little screen on like a very small screen to begin with. He yeah. hasn't gotten um, much bigger. Yeah, he's got like the most punchable face. Mm. He already did. Oh my gosh, what's his face is here? Barbara um, Francis. <laughs> it, it, like he's got this is redneck Francis <laughs> no Francis had a punchable face in a different way I see this is like Francis was the punchable face because he was like oh you're such a you're a fucking asshole and I just want to punch you yeah this is a different character from a different campaign <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> For the viewers watching. <laughs> but no, this guy has the kind of face that makes you want to shove him into a locker. Okay. Like, he's got buck teeth, like, these kind of, like, ratty-looking eyes kind of thing. Big nose. Um, he's He's got, like, the pointed ears of, like, a half 
half-elf, but he definitely did not inherit any of the beauty of an elf at He got all. the human. <laughs> um, he says, Hello! Hi there! Um, welcome to my, my lovely abode. Um, can I get you some coffee? Maybe, uh, I don't really have tea. Uh, I got energy drinks if you want. I think we'll just look at the, uh, merchandise if you please. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, follow me, follow me. Um, he leads you guys, uh, further into the kind of lounge area down a hall. Uh, and uh, brings you to a spot where you can see like a bunch of different like screens and behind those screens like behind and just kind of set above them you can see like the item that is featured on the screen mm -hmm. um, kind of like set back further uh, behind glass that you can tell is meant to be bulletproof um, and he says, uh, this is all the stuff that I have. Um, there's also a kiosk over there if you're looking for some of the bigger items. Um, I, I have a nice big inventory of things if you're looking for it. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, it's nice to, he, he keeps staring at you too. It's like, it's, uh, nice to see people. Yeah, nice, nice to see people. Uh, where did you get the vehicle you guys are driving around in? Well, that would be our mechanic. It uh, was in the junkyard. Bartholomew. It was a junkyard. No, it was in the junkyard. Okay, fine. I didn't manage to put the whole junkyard into the banshee. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, oh uh, much as I tried. Yeah, um, uh, you tried. What, 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 uh, what junkyard did you get it from? Because I, I think I recognized some of the work on it. Do you? Yeah. Uh, did somebody help you with that, or? Can I get a? Is this just the? Much help. I think Betty I think might have got helped. Some is this just a like bit, yeah. a horny guy that knows Betty Maybe. and is therefore horny? Can I get a vibe check on that? Do an insight. Do a vibe check. Yeah. Does he pass the vibe? Probably not. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nine. This guy knows Betty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's not that is the face of desperation <laughs> yeah, he's got like that face of like hey yeah yeah nice to nice to oh yeah you know you know uh betty then yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, uh you know me and her used to live together uh mm -hmm. we we're pretty close yeah uh you know always she was uh i, I would say that she was kind of my girlfriend until she left, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Last words I I heard from her was, uh, Cleeton, I'm your sister, you know, like, uh, so, you know, that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was expecting it. <laughs> Go find the engine now. <laughs> you know, she recently broke up with someone. Yeah, she's single. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, where's she living? In that junkyard. Mom where we found the stuff. Oh, uh, I see. Oh, I thought she might have left planet. Uh, that's oh, what she's, is she's uh, still, still on planet. Um, on cow. Hmm? On cow. She's on the cow. So, um. Huh? Yeah, cow. where's the man then? The, the engines? Engine, thank Inspections you. must be made. Yes. Uh, well, the engines are uh, hooked up to uh, diagnostics from the kiosk, if you want to check those out first before heading in. Sure. Um, you might also want to grab a hazmat suit. Do you have one that fits him? Uh, not really. Do you have a bubble to put him in? No. <laughs> We'll make something work. We need to invest in a hamster ball. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a cobalt ball. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> um. But yeah. It, a hamster ball and a mage hand. It does not take a lot for you guys to tell that this guy is like... He doesn't talk to a lot of women. Oh and, shit. Of people. And he's not 
very well socialized. No shit. I, we got that from him on the screen. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he is an incest baby. <laughs> on this planet, probably. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Welcome to Australia, Alabama. <laughs> Space Australia, Alabama. Yes. Um... Space so take us to the... <laughs> take us to the kiosks and give them whatever you got. And All right. <clears throat> you uh, can try yes, and make I will it take work. everything. <laughs> <laughs> so you can actually take a look at the kiosk. The kiosk is set up so that you can check like a bunch of different things in inventory, even the stuff that's on the walls. Uh, it's all pretty, like... It's actually fairly well set up. It seems that he's had a lot of time to... To emphasize about trying to sell things to people? Yeah. He's had a lot of alone time. Um, That's why his hands are so stained. He says, uh, yeah, yeah, everything's there. Um, yeah. If you want, you can also take a look in the kiosk. Um, make sure everything's running properly and he's not trying to jip you, but, like, based off of his personality, he he's probably trying. didn't even think about that. Yeah. He didn't think about selling one of his engines to get a hull for his spaceship. Yeah. I don't think mm. he thinks about a ton. Um, says, so, uh, what do you want? Um, what are you, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Like, um... I am going to examine the engines first All right. in the kiosk. Um, based off of the readings for the diagnostics in that, it seems that the engine is like performing like below par for its type, which is still better than most other engines. But it is so all three of them are basically the same thing. Uh, yeah. There's one that's like a little further down than the rest. We'll uh, leave him that one. But the other two seem to be, like, running at the same level. Okay. Um, what else does he have in inventory? Uh, he does have, like, a bunch of different engines available. He's got at 12 motorbikes. Um, he also has uh, a few, like, land vehicles meant for, like, travel. So something similar to the Banshee. Um, just a little quieter. Just a little quieter in most cases. Um, one of them is essentially like, it looks like he took like a city bus, put treads on it, and then like armored it up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it's got space for like four different mounted weapons on top of it. We could make that such a cute little home. Like the kitchen could go there. We get a beds there. Tiny moment. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It also looks like it's set up to be modular, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so you can add more shit to it later, uh, in including if you wanted, just ripping the engines off the banshee and throwing them on this thing. That'd be ridiculous. I wouldn't rip them off the banshee. <laughs> They would be removed properly, so they still function. <laughs> That's fair. Um, it does look a little bigger than the Banshee is, but... Uh, seats. It's comfortable? Yeah. Hmm? Comfortable seats. You could also reinstall... Limousine seats. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. It'd pro probably fit better in there, too. Uh -huh. It's a little squished in the Banshee. Um, he's also got a, a unicycle tank. What the fuck? I want it. <laughs> a what? A unicycle tank. How does that work? <laughs> One tread? It's, it is <laughs> essentially a large tire. Like, mm. It looks mm -hmm. like a monster truck tire that he has put a tread on. Uh, like, you know, and has like multiple different wheels within that tread to keep it turning. That has basically a tank turret sitting on top of it and you can see the like gyroscope pieces that keep this thing balanced like hanging off the side of it um where are you supposed to sit in the turret 
It's a it is a two passenger oh, vehicle. Two. <laughs> It, it is also not designed for comfort. Okay, <laughs> it is okay. Di- yeah. He's got some ridiculous things. Um, he also has a thing where uh, he's got an entire like little factory set up, so you can take parts from his inventory and just press buttons, and it'll put them together. Well, that takes away all the fun. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want? Um, how many motorcycles motorcycles are good? Um, you'd have to ride them around, but based off of the specs that he has listed, all of them are good. There's three that are, like, above average. Okay. And these are alarmed? Yeah. Fantastic. Or the least one of them is armed. That one is very expensive. The other ones have mountings for your own guns. I think you'll used. find that it's actually just the cost of 60 fuel. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, please don't. <laughs> and he... I would love to take one of the bikes for a test drive. Oh, oh, all right. Um, I, I usually charge you know, some credits to take it out for a test drive, but, I mean, for a... For a... A, a, a person? A, a uh, lovely lady! A lady like you, I can take that free mm-hmm. uh, for test run. Um, if you, uh, I, yeah, I can, I can let you take it out for a test drive. <laughs> okay. Um, he says, uh... If you want, just uh, follow me, and he goes over to a side door and uh, kind of types in a code on can the door. Can I see the code? Uh, I mean... Can Opal see the code? Can I see the code? Can I mean, we? you can see the code. Mm. Um, What's the code? One, two, three, four. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> gosh! <laughs> Of course it is. He's <laughs> not the brightest guy. No. <laughs> like, this... <laughs> Please don't hurt this NPC. He's an oh, innocent he's gonna, man. He's not going to get hurt. Please don't rip him off. He's an innocent man. <laughs> he's Nothing's going to get ripped off. We've seen how he decorates. I don't think he's an innocent man. No. I mean, he's... I'm your sister. <laughs> He's a lonely man. <laughs> Can you at least give him that? Yeah, yeah he he sounds he'll figure lonely. something out. Um, okay, while he's walking with her, okay, what do we want? Um, what do we need? How long do I need to distract him? Well, we want two shiny engines to okay. put on a trailer okay. to drag off to uh, Felicity. Okay. And um, some motorbikes. You guy is going to rob him? <laughs> Not completely. <laughs> I just wanted to go for a test drive. This yeah. was not planned. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think we're good with just the engines. So we're just, just taking one engine. Yeah, yeah, but then we can get a hull. You don't want the bus? Not really. Yeah, you like her banshee? Yeah. Okay. I mean, we, we, we could get the bus, but that's going to need time to actually um, shift stuff over. And... I have a question. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does the bus have better fuel mileage? Yes. How much better? Mm-hmm. How much is the Banshee getting right now? Ten a day. Ten a day? Mm. Uh, you're probably... It, this thing has a higher max speed, so you get further. Is that right? Further. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So we just get further. Same amount, but further. Yeah. Was it worth it? Because obviously he's got sentimental value on the Banshee. It's yeah. actually uh, one fuel per 50 miles. Okay. Yeah. 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 This thing would be doing one fuel for every, like, 80. That's not a nice number. I'll say every 100. Yay! I would have taken 75. But we can always but make I'm the Banshee better. Mm. If you're overly attached. I mean, I'm not really. It's more of a sentimental thing, like, if we you lose know. the Banshee, I'm gonna make something else really loud. I mean, the bus will still be loud. Yeah. Yes. We'll make it, no one cares loud. Yeah. I mean, I think 
most of what we would be moving from the Banshee would be the, the Inter- sea. Yeah, the, the entire interior. interior. Yeah. The interior and our... Um, Guns. Our um, definitely mm, um, radiation-proof case. Yes. Yeah. 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 The DM's going to throw it out there is that you could cha- you could trade in the hull of the Banshee for the bus. Mm-hmm. Mm. Is essentially... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, weapon yeah. mounts on the bus? Yeah. You they, get four. They're four. also swivel mounts. So they are can... they in a line or are they like two and two? They are two on either side near the back and then one near the front. That's five. And then one in the middle? Uh, and then one on the back. Like very Okay, back. so like diamond shape basically. Yeah. Oh, we've six? Wait, is it? No. Is, oh, no. Is, is, okay. is one of them out the emergency exit side right, thing? I picture that is one. Uh, one, one of them is definitely like an exit from okay. the vehicle. But they are all swivel mounts, so they all have Full something. Full swivel? Yes. Okay. 360 degrees. No, I mean, is it on the back of the bus or the top of the back? The top. Okay. Okay. Um, there, there are other mounts on the side, but yeah, they're... Yeah. Is there easy roof access, or do we have to make that? Uh, like, to get on to the roof? To from get the into outside? the turret. From the inside? From the inside, yes. There is easy roof access okay. from the inside. How long would it take for you to do the switch? Um... I don't know. How long does it take? Speed is good, right? Uh, If you're removing the Banshee engines and putting them in, yes. And Mm. Actually, if it's it's already got its own engine as well, we can um, use those boosters. Just to go into the nitty gritty uh, AC hit points kind of deal? Uh, We will get into that if you decide to take it. Well, if we decide to take it, I want to know it's better than what we currently have. Or on par. Do the swap. I mean, do Banshee thing. Hall for bus. Yeah. And then uh, we want. Does it have a plow on it? Are we gonna have to switch the plow over? You're probably gonna have to switch the plow over. Cool. Okay. Plus plow. I tried to mix up the word bus and Banshee, and it <laughs> <laughs> didn't work out for me. <laughs> Bushy. <laughs> I mean, just. <laughs> Banshee have a plus. So you want the engine and one minimum one engine. I'll leave it as that for now. Um, Three bikes, a trailer, sixty things of gas. Uh, sixty fuel. We might want more if we're doing the bikes too. Mm. Um, do we want three bikes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just bikes. in case. Wait, can you Wait. can you drive one? Can I yes. drive one? <laughs> Animal handling. Right. That's vehicle handling. Animal handling is for fixing vehicles. <laughs> what if it's a sentient bike? We'll take you on a lesson. Ooh. That's a good question. That would probably be a charisma. <laughs> charisma Maybe 30 feet for the bikes? Huh? 30 feet for the bikes? Well, we're, right, we're debating if we're getting three or not, because right now I'm the only one that can drive one. I can drive one. You see me drive the Banshee? I can drive the Banshee. I can drive bus. He can't drive... A bike. Uh, yeah, it would need to be um, <gasps> a custom bike. Is one of them a sidecar? No. No. I'm not Damn. using a sidecar. Damn it. <laughs> She's not either. <laughs> I'm, I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> okay, fine. Fine. So We're debating if we need three bikes or one. Because yeah. at this point, mm-hmm. I'm the only one that can drive one. Yeah, so... Yeah. It, it would probably need to be a difficult... A, a hmm? Different. You need a, a tight bike. No, it... it <gasps> It would still, could still be that size, but it would have to be differently um, configured. configured. We could, cobalt. could you fix that? Yeah. Could you make it, make that the thing that the, the does? I don't know if those would be worth doing it on. Okay. So perhaps stick with just one for just mm. maybe. We could see uh, about test driving for both of you, but yeah, yeah. See how I don't see that going well immediately, and we get... could see about test crashing for me. Should we at least get ten fuel for the one bike if and like? Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. So, or one and ten. One big. Okay. So then we'd pay for the fuel, which would be how much? Six, seven. Maybe. So seven hundred for fuel. We're gonna get a number that's easily divisible, so we'll see about what the actual end number is. Are you good? Mm. Oh, and a trailer. That thing's running with the engine. Yeah. Uh, 
Yep, you got it. Yeah. Wow, that actually looks really good. good. It's yeah, we're getting a 21 inch in this. <laughs> okay, so. We'd give them. Um, if we just paid for the fuel, it'd be seven to. Seven to nine hundred for the, the fuel. Um, we'd give them um, the Banshee hull. We're trading that in for the bus. Yes. Yeah. So that's like. That's that. Mm. And my time is expensive, so you mm. know what? That that's fair. Are you gonna charge us for your time to figure out those numbers? <laughs> no, I'm gonna. Put... I thought you were gonna add it on to the total we're paying him. I'm like, <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. But... This is my fee. This is how much you guys owe. No, <laughs> admin fee, right? Mm. I'm gonna see if I can get. Oh, damn it! Damn it! What? I was gonna do a private show for him, and I was gonna be like, I will see if I can get any tip from him. You want his tip? Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. And. Don't worry, I don't think he's that interested. You're not his sister. <sighs> and you know what? <laughs> um, while I'm doing the private show, I don't know how many inches you take, so I can't really say anything, but mm. maybe not the two good ones. One good one and one bad one. Yeah. Yeah. This guy. Yeah. We're not, I'm trying to be somewhat fair, but in our favor. Okay. I'm not here. I'm going for it. You're trying drive. to be less mean. Yes. I am somewhat of a good person. I mean, you are supposed to be the moral center of this party. <laughs> the moral center is neutral good. So she like me, and then maybe others. <laughs> no, and others. Fine, whatever. Um. So yeah. Nine. Why don't we give them just the nine hundred plus a show? How about that? And get all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. So the one bike, two engines, and then bus trade. Yeah. And ninety fuel. Yeah. Yeah, ninety fuel. We're literally just paying for ninety fuel. Yeah. Yeah. I'm giving him a fucking show. He's a lonely man. She charges a lot for that. Mm. Right? And depending on how long you take, as the longer there's, my show goes, and... The, 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 there's also a scarcity of this sort of thing, so you can charge a lot. Right? Mm. And he's How's my test to... drive? So... <laughs> 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 what of the, the bikes, uh... The top what's, what's the... Ex she ex takes the good bike with the guns. What's the price difference between the armed and the unarmed bikes? Uh, the price difference? Like... The, Give me the unarmed yeah. ones are probably going to be about 600 credits. Mm -hmm. The armed one is about uh, 1,200, no, 12,000 credits. 12,000? 12, yeah. That's a big jump. That's like another two numbers. Yeah. How good is the gun? Are you sure it's not 1,200? Another 600 credits. Yeah, because that'd be a. Or is it another good like brain? Ten thousand. Yeah. Okay. Twelve hundred. You read the first time. Yes. Yeah. You second guess yourself. Yeah. One two zero zero. Yeah. Versus the six hundred. Okay. Um, I'm taking the armed vehicle. Okay. It is one with treads. It is a. Uh, Auto balanced bike meant to go over like very rough terrain. Um, you see that uh, the way that it's set up and how he's fixed it, it's also rated for zero G. Ooh. Bye guys! <laughs> <laughs> Me! So it has magnets in the treads? Uh, yes. It also has an auto stabilizer for zero G so that it can be used in like a gravity or a a lack of gravity area. So it can fly if there's no gravity. Um, no. It's fine, we'll get into that later. How's my test drive? You... <laughs> How's it handle? Uh, he... has you bring gravity. it up onto an elevator, which it takes you to the outside, the and you rip around the desert, uh, firing the guns. <laughs> He's like, oh. I'm not just shooting the guns off. <laughs> All right. Um, they do have ammunition. <laughs> this is too good. Um, 
and uh, it handles really well. Um, you're going at a pretty good click too. Um, though, based off of like how big the fuel tank is on this thing, you wouldn't get very far with just it alone. So, um, this thing is meant to be more scouty. Yeah, um, short bursts. It's fast. It you go over like a large rock that's probably the size of someone's head, and you you more feel rather than uh, see the treads flex and fold so that you basically don't feel yourself go over it. Um, but yeah, uh, it's got good acceleration, handles nicely. Um, cool. It feels like one of the Citadel bikes, almost, which are like perfectly designed for the station. But, feels better. Yeah. This one, you can feel the wind in your hair kind of thing. I'll take it back. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, <laughs> uh, how was it? Good. Yeah, yeah. She's a uh, she's beauty, easy, isn't she? Uh, yeah, I want her. Yeah. Oh, that, that that's good. That's good. Uh, uh, I do have to say that she is, you know, one of my more expensive bikes. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, twelve hundred dollars. Six hundred. I I mean I. You want to roll a... What kind of charisma check would this be? Persuasion. Yeah. With advantage because you're... A pretty lady? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe just... Oh! Hmm. Went on a little dance. Uh, 19. 19? I wasn't expecting him to agree to it for this price, by the way. Yeah. I, I can... I can do 600 if I can uh, get maybe a little, you know, on the cheek. No. Uh, all right, all right. I, I was kidding anyway, you know. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Um, I, Alex might be putting on a show. Maybe it's a trade. Sorry. Shit, Jim. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> Jim. <laughs> I, uh, I don't, I, I, she's a dancer. I see, um, define dancer. She has a really shiny pole. Oh, like my mother. <laughs> like her father. <laughs> not, not that familiar with your mom, but sure. <laughs> uh, my mom's a stripper up in facility. Sure. <laughs> and yes. Close enough. I see, I see. Um, uh. Wow. That might remind me of my mother too much. Hey, Clayton? Yeah? Can we go inside? Yeah, yeah. And he <laughs> sets up the elevator so that you guys can both go inside. Um. Well, she's also musically inclined. Oh, I see. Uh, oh, yeah, is that that might be uh, interesting. Uh, <laughs> what? Nothing. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> so you got two of you get back inside. Mm -hmm. um, As I kind of like wheel the bike towards the stuff we're taking pile, I just give Alex a pat on the shoulder and be like, "Give the man a kiss on his cheek." Okay, yeah, alright. He's, he's given us a very good discount on this bike. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Mm. <laughs> he doesn't want to show. Ooh, okay, uh, <laughs> alright. I Mine's bend down and I... Oh, and I bend down <laughs> so nicely. I'll just pack him. Tits out. Yeah. <laughs> alright. Cheek kiss. Uh, do you have prestidigitation? No, I don't! <laughs> <laughs> Thank God he does not smell. He smells like air fresheners. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna dig too deep into that one. Um, 
that that's like the biggest saving grace here. Yeah. Uh, so I don't. At least he uses chest. soap. He, it, the thing is, is that he doesn't look dirty. He just looks like he's spent too much time working on things mm -hmm. than that to like have properly washed his hands. He does have like a few like grease smudges, smudges on him, like he's been. There's more of me. Uh, working recently, <laughs> but like at least he like. You can see under his hat, like, the fucking mullet he has. Um, the hair is not ragged and bad. It looks like he cleans himself, so... That's a saving he, grace. He's just a grease monkey, basically. Yeah. Well, it smells like air freshener. Yeah. Okay. Air freshener and probably leather. Alright. Leather cleaner. So yeah, while well, you're up there, uh, we, we had a discussion, and I think, well, we do want the end, and, and the bus as well. Um, yeah. We're actually considering... <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? yeah. We're actually considering, what if we gave you the whole of our banshee, our, our vehicle? Yeah, we could do that. And then we'll take the bus? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, and then um, we'll, we'll pay for the 90 fuel, yeah? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's, and then, that's yeah. fun. Yeah, we get the, the bike, the trailer, and... And the engines. And the and engines. Yeah. Yeah, we'll roll, roll and persuasion. With advantage. With advantage. She's just, <laughs> she just basically feeble-minded the man. <laughs> oh, Ooh, it's right. Oh. Mm. I can't see what that is. It's four, four. Yeah. It's not the best... Dice seems to be. Um, it's a roof. <laughs> ten. Ten. All right. Ooh. Does he even hear the words I'm saying? Um. <laughs> he is kind of like in that state of like. You could say anything to him, and he'd probably be like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." He's not actually listening to me. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. So. We'll discuss um, details after, I guess. No, we discuss details now and then tell him he said yes later. <laughs> well, he did say yes. Yeah. I guess we have discussed the details. He has said yeah. yes. So, yeah, yeah. yeah that's exactly. wonderful. So, actually, while I'm not much of a mechanic myself, um, but I'd love to see the rest of your shop while my uh, my buddies do the, the whole swap, and we'll do that for you. Yeah, it's like a little, you don't have to do the, the swapping at all. We'll just, we'll do that and yeah, that's... we'll have a nice chat together. Have some coffee. Yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds wonderful. Yeah, I can, yeah. I can do that. <laughs> he's so hey, out of me, it right now. Show me around then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's uh, like, follow me. I'll, I'll show you around, show you around my little uh, home and abode. Um, so, yeah, he takes you around the shops and that. He's got a few places. Like, one of the garages is literally just meant for holding, like, all of the vehicles that he has. Um, another... Alex is just nodding and smiling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um... Great, so cool. Yeah. Love uh, that for you. Yeah. He... Also, so like, smart. he's got a banner in one of his shops. Mm -hmm. You can see that it's, like, it's probably a good, like, 12 feet long by, like, maybe, like, 4 feet in width. And it's just of, like, a half-orc woman, like, basically naked, uh, sitting on, like, a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, and you can see that there's like a large, like, it's probably in like a marker or paint, like, uh, a signature, uh, on it. And he like points to that and like, yeah, I got a sans, uh, banner from her and that. And he like, you recognize the name that he gives. And it's like a porn star from... It's Vegas? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I know her! <laughs> <laughs> She's really nice. Yeah. Beautiful personality. Um, I mean, the Large last... Large personality. Yeah. <laughs> the last time you saw her, she was, like, in, like, a turtleneck and, like, a 
like long dress uh, at an award ceremony for like cinemat cinematography in that. Cool, cool, cool. So like, yeah. yeah. She actually has a good personality. Yeah, she's <laughs> she's a good person. Is just more of a like. For being Las Vegas. Her her job is one of those ones where it's like the dichotomy of the juxtaposition between what she does for a living and how she acts in real life is very different. Yeah. So. Cool. Um, but yeah, he, it's like one of the things that he has in like his main workshop, which is fairly well set up and organized in that. Um, you can see that he has a few things tossed around, but that just seemed to be average mm -hmm. stuff. Um, meanwhile, while you're getting like this tour of this shop that you're not really interested in, um, the two of you are... Swapping over yep. the... to Banshee 2.0? Mm -hmm. Banshee 2.0, I think that would be... It's better than Bushy. <laughs> Plus Banshee. Yeah. Um... <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Um, so the Banshee 2.0, uh... Here to fourth. You managed to get Banshee. the... Mm. Banshee point one or... Banshee one. the former. Yeah. Uh, into the place by finding the button to open the garage. <laughs> Sorry, I took him away a little bit too quick. It's uh, fine, I get to explore now. Yeah. So there's a code, try one, two, three, four. Yeah. That doesn't work. Nine, eight, seven, six. Yep. Ooh, I did leave um, Opal with you guys. Okay. My hair. Uh, so yeah, you bring Banshee in, you get it set up to like start mm -hmm. shopping it. Uh, you attach... This is going to take like a day yeah. for you to... Properly set up our boosters. Thankfully there's some, there's a heavy lifter here. Yeah. Um basically all I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you guys spend the day or the rest of the day getting this set up and then some of the next day. Um, so we sleep here? Yeah. We'll, Clean. We'll, get, we'll get the seats and stuff done first so we can sleep in the new Banshee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's Mark. Mm. Uh, Clayton's like a yeah 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 and he uh you know kind of heads off to his own quarters cool um you cover the cameras <laughs> in the shop that you guys are sleeping in yeah we also we just cover our windows yeah it's easier <laughs> you cover both <laughs> i find a little cubby hole in the old tank okay in the form of banshee that's where i'm sleeping all right. Interesting. Mm. Um, but yeah. Before we go to bed, I would like to make sure the bus banshee has no cameras in it. Okay. Yeah. Um, roll an investigation. Opal will help you. Take your hair. Do you want yeah. me to do that? Like, because we could be doing that while we're... I'll roll solo. You roll with Opal. Opal. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to look. If you did it later, she'd be... <laughs> You, but mm, right, 12. Oh, well, maybe 14. I should be in the cubby with you, just in case. Is this both? For both? Mm. We're both looking. Yeah. yeah. Okay. They're doing it, they're looking for cameras while they're doing, like, the switch. The, yeah. the and switch. other devices that may be, um... um Trugs. Yes. You do find a camera. It's delicious. <laughs> I find a camera? You do find a camera. You find out that it's hooked up internally to the Banshee. Hmm. Or to this new banshee, um, it doesn't have any radio signal thing to send it outwards either, okay. so it is just like an internal camera. So the like basically the driver's seat can see what's going on in the the rest of it. Or? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, it doesn't seem like he thought of that far ahead. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't expecting people in here, right? Uh, so, but yeah. Um, that's pretty much the only one you find. The other one that you find is a backup camera. Yes. But that's, that's just, like, one of those, like, yeah, it's a backup camera. It's on the outside of the fucking vehicle. 
so yeah. I did math. You did. <laughs> Couldn't tell what it was, but you did it. So yeah. Um. Next day, you finish up all the stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, about noon. Uh. What are you guys taking again? Okay, we have the bus. We have. (laughs) (laughs) We're bus. I believe yes. I believe we're taking two engines. The one good and the one crap. The one not as good and not quite so good. Yes. Yeah. Taking both of them. I tried. They want them. I don't fucking add. He wanted. Yeah. I want a hull. So, and then we're taking... One, the trailer that you guys have, and the only trailer that he really has available can only carry one. That's oh. disappointing. So, we're, yeah, there you go. One engine. Keep in mind that these things weigh a lot. They are oh. lead-lined, oh, and, engine. like, they're designed You've to hold... You've got to figure there's better anti-radiation materials at this point than lead. No. <laughs> It's one of those, like, it is an engine that contains a fusion reaction. Um, and it's a big fucking engine. It's not a small thing. Mm-hmm. Um, these things are heavy, and normally they are pulled around with, like, a bigger vehicle than what you have. Mm-hmm. So, the bus, the trailer and the engine, the gun bike, and 90 fuel. Okay. I think we're pay- we're paying either 900? We're paying 900 credits plus leftovers from Old Banshee. Alright. I said 600 for the bike. We didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I said that, actually. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. He agreed to that. Yeah. Like, when I came in, like, he's giving us a really good deal. And I gave him a kiss. Yeah. So, yeah. You guys, uh... uh probably the last thing we do is fuel up. Um, give him the 1,500, mm. 500 each. Okay. So we, we take all that and we give him 50, 1,500 credits. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't make sure I said that right. I'm like, yes, 1,500 credits. So he's got the hull of the, the Banshee, um, and the 1500. Okay. Um. And two engines. Before he, you guys leave, he does kind of like, come he's like, I, I, I did agree to this, and, uh. You did. You said yes. We didn't steal your gas, so that's another thing we mm. charge for. All right. All right. Um. Kind of looks like, because he sees the engine, he realizes, like, and he, like, sees how much you're giving him, and he's like, yeah. But it was lovely getting to know you. Yeah. It yeah. was nice getting to know you. Yeah, I just, it... Maybe you will come back. Yeah. I mean, if you do, if you're ever uh, looking for, you know, an extra ship hand, yeah. if you ever get off this planet, um... It's so bad for him. Uh, right? <laughs> I'm willing to, you know. Yeah, and if you want to reconnect with Betty, she's that way. And I do point in the direction of Betty. <laughs> like, oh, oh, all right, I'll, yep. I might take a look and see what's off in that direction. Yeah, family she, and all that. I will say she had her ex-boyfriend killed. Yeah. Right. Oh, she was always a fasty one. She had us do it. She was always a fasty one. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you take care. We'll keep you in mind, and we'll say hi to your mom for you. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And we hop into bus. Banshee 2. Away we go. He kind of waves as you guys head off, and he's got, like, his, his hand in his bag, and he's like, <laughs> like, <laughs> stares at the ground a little bit, like, 
Right. And you watch as the little secret door uh, goes, down. goes down as you drive away. Oh, I feel so bad for him. Is that this is, No, Steph this is me. me. <laughs> Steph is hurting. He's so sad. <laughs> it's a big galaxy. You can't help everyone. Correct. They want to. There's so much scribbles. There is so much writing on your piece of paper. We need stats on some stuff. Okay, so Banshee 2.0 has an AC of 18. It went down. It's not Bitch. a fucking tank anymore. Oh, um, daggers. <laughs> <laughs> it does have an HP of 98. That went up? Yes. Uh, almost doubled. Okay, well that's better then. Yeah. We can always get armor for it. Um, yeah. Is there any other stats that needed to be... guys drive further out into the desert. Um, your the amount of time for your trip has been reduced to, well, it's still a few days, but now it's only a couple that's actually been driven. So we're basically still taking the same amount of time because we had to take a day to switch yeah. our vehicles. Yeah. However long that was supposed to be. Yeah. The Banshee 2.0 is slightly bigger than the previous Banshee. Slightly. Wow. Oh. It's an entire bus. Yeah, right? it's an entire city bus. Um. Wait, I'm picturing school bus. Is right? It like a transit bus or a school bus? Like a transit bus. Oh. I was picking, picturing school bus too. Yeah. Same. I would Wait, did you give us bus. an accordion bus? No, I'm going to show you the picture that I have. Whoop. That <laughs> Is I it a actually, double dagger? I actually based this off of because it's fucking hilarious and I love it. Get the fuck out of here, cat. No. Um, okay. <laughs> I am DM now. Roll for initiative. Oh, okay. This is what okay, I based cool. it off of. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. That's valid. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have problems with this anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> don't have <laughs> You had problems with it before. Well, I was still picturing it with wheels on. Yes. Also. Okay. Oh, I see. Single tank. Yeah. Cool. Except it's a wheel, not treads. Yeah. It has an exposed brake pad. It also has a bayonet. It has a little bayonet. This is... It's not even the proper size beta. <laughs> it's at a terrible height as well. <laughs> <laughs> like, at least put your bayonet on the uh, crash bars. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, you have a bus mobile yes. banshee. The banshee bus. And we drive to the facility. Yeah. Yeah, Vanga buses. <laughs> um, driving to facility. We have time. Uh, does somebody want to roll a D100? Leaves. Yeah, green free flowers. Mm -hmm. mm. 55. Oh, right. Uh -huh. Where's... I was like, he used me as a stepping stone. Yeah. Well, I guess not a stone, but a step. I'm not a stone. Mm. I'm not just okay. okay. <laughs> um. Who is currently driving? What time of day is it? It is probably getting to evening. Getting? Okay. 
Is this early afternoon again? Like, well, getting to evening would be roughly what time? Uh, Equivalent. Like six o'clock. So is what that mean? Max, yeah, so you drive the eight hours overnight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I do? Because mm-hmm. that's smart, right? Me driving during the dark? That's better than you driving into crack of dawn. Uh huh, that's true. Mm-hmm. Or overnight. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing the yeah. overnight. Okay. No, I you're still shift. driving. I see, yeah. Yeah. I see. I misunderstood. Yep. Alright. I'm still piloting. Um. Probably. Is it whoever's driving next would be the co-pilot? Or yeah. Or whoever just drove? No, I think it's whoever's driving next. So, so you've got time to wake up. Yeah. Before you shift. Yeah. Okay. So it's Smudge that's... Co-pilot. Yes. Co-pilot? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um... Navigator. Yes. Taxi driver. Next to... Like, it'd be front seat driver. <laughs> Passenger seat driver? <laughs> yeah. That's the one. As you are traveling, mm-hmm. uh, you, well, you and you see something in the sky kind of twinkle, and then you see like a little like re-entry burn, and then it kind of disappears, but you see like little, uh, what are essentially just like lights, flying lights on it. Oh, so it's a ship re-entering? Yeah. Um, Is this where Felicity would be? Yes and no. Um, like, is that a trajectory? S- it, it seems to be coming kind of close to facility, but uh, you guys are still like a day out. Mm-hmm. So, it's if it was going to facility, it would be over the horizon. In between us and facility? Yeah. Okay. Um, Can we get an approximate location on its landing site? Uh, yeah. Is it's... there a landing site on our Bing Maps? Space Bing Maps? <laughs> refresh, refresh. <laughs> I, I actually, I think we went through this, me and Steph, uh, one of the companies called Lagoon. It's like the internet provider. <laughs> okay, so Space Lagoon Maps. Yeah. Um, yeah, you don't see a landing site on there, but based off Is there off of... a building or a townish it... type thing or an outpost no. or... It isn't. wasn't aimed at a, like at a certain spot. No, it just seems to be landing in the desert. Yeah. Um, Can we get an approximate location based upon its uh, trajectory? Yeah, it'll probably be about two miles off course of where you guys are. Okay, then not a meteorite? Um, I mean, we'd oh, have wait, to break ship. open the ship and take the core out of their engine for that. Well, that's true, so... Or we can take their ship. No. That's also an option. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Strap it to the trailer. It, it, it depends how heavily armed they are. That's and true. how easy we'll it would be We'll be coming across them within the next half hour. Okay. Um, how close are we to the end of um, Alex's shift? I don't know. Probably pretty close. Because we'll wake um, Babs up early if that's the case. Yeah. Just to... Hey, we found a thing. She's, I Do would you want to wait out your long rest? I think she's been asleep at least six hours, I would think. Yeah. And I think long rests are supposed to be like six to eight, aren't they? It's supposed to be eight hours. Unless you're an elf. Yeah, yeah. In which case you can sleep for half of that time. Yeah. Sleep. Just zone out. Mm. Alex wouldn't know this. You're the only one that would. What would I know? Uh, can you make a... Oh, what would this be? A... What are the skills again? If it's from memory, it might be history. Um, acrobatics, animal handling, arcana, athletics, deception, history, insight, intimidation, investigation, medicine, nature, perception. Performance, persuasion, religion, sleight of hand, stealth, survival. This would either be a history or perception check. 
It's a history check. <laughs> it gets me an extra one. Ooh. Ten. Ten. Um. Also ten. <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> With a ten, you don't necessarily recognize what kind of uh, vehicle this is that you're seeing like flying through the sky but you do recognize the uh, way that it re-entered mm -hmm. um, this would be the re-entry of a dropship okay for like troops yeah um, you've seen them used in like blood sports yeah. to yeah. drop off teams of people for some of the, the kill teams rather than the contestants who are just drop potted in oh, yeah. or chucked out of prison or cells or if it's a team yeah. battle team deathmatch yeah um, but yeah kill squads tended to have a in both cases, kill squads and like just team drops uh, seem to be more chaotic than this one. What do you mean? They had a like faster re-entry. Oh, so that that was just get down quick as possible type thing, and this is more of a controlled. Yeah, um, it's we still are not going in a hurry. It's still going the same speed, but the length of time that it spent like basically on fire going through the re-entry process was a lot shorter for this one yeah does it still so seem... leveled out faster or it, it leveled out faster okay. it seems that whoever is flying this is way more professionally trained mm. in flying one of these than people that you know he meant to fly where he flew like, he directed where he wanted to land? Yeah. And that's directly in front of us. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> These are actual ships, or just this is one and done? One... Hmm? This is an actual ship. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. They are usually only the size of, like, a... Usually the, only the size of a tank. Yeah. Um, they're not really... It's an APC with a bit more avionics on it. Yeah. Um, they're also not really meant for interstellar flight, so this yeah. thing had to come in on a different ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that part from the yeah. dropship. Um, besides that, yeah, this thing looks like it's being flown by somebody who's a professional. Cool. Um... I probably don't know much about the shape of those things to determine whose it is. Yeah. Or who the manufacturer was, I guess. <laughs> Not with the role you had. Yeah. It's a little too far away for that. Mm. If you were closer, you could probably figure out who the manufacturer is, but... Mm. Um... And who the common users of such a ship might be. Yeah. We should definitely look up Babs. Okay. Just ask her what her opinion is and if we should wait for her to finish her rest. Hmm. I go and poke her. Okay. It's advised. I poke the foot. That's probably safest. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Poke yeah, yeah. the... Hmm. Uh, you got your helmet on? Yes, I have my shoe on. <laughs> <laughs> poke the foot because then she can't grab me unless she wants to grasp well you might get kicked Giant in hands. the face so no I'm like arm's length okay and to be fair that's not very long for kobold but it's <laughs> <laughs> use your back it's, huh? it's still it's still uh, sufficient distance to do dodge back I, ask, I hope yeah hopefully yeah mm -hmm. yeah um so So, Babs is getting poked in the foot. 
Babs is getting poked in the foot. No. <laughs> I hate that. Because we aren't quite sure when it is the switchy switch time. And uh, they have spotted something coming down from the sky. How far into your shift are we? I don't know. 6 p.m.? Yeah. Pretty far. Uh, yeah. We're just beginning. <laughs> I just counted eight hours from a number, but I don't remember what number I picked. Uh, what number did you get to? Five. Uh, so probably nine? Nine? Yeah. yeah. You're probably driving nine to fives. Mm -hmm. And I'm driving five to... Whatever. Uh, <laughs> that would be one. One, and then she's driving one to nine. Yep. So that means that I've been asleep for six hours. I was right. Ding ding ding. It would be five. If it's six-ish, and you would sleep at one. Damn it! You're right. Ah. What if it's seven-ish? I mean, it's like 6.30. We're all right. Being poked in the foot because they've seen something coming down from the sky. Yeah. Mm. Ship. Mm. Ship. Chip. Drop ship. Drop ship. Fuck. Fuck? Are we going for it? What? All right, we'll give you a moment to wake up. I'm heading towards it right now. Oh, good. I described the drop. Wait, who was poking me in the foot? Him. Okay. Hi, buddy. You've got a cat in your tray. Yep. Um, so you come up to the front. You can still see the drop ship. Uh, it's coming down from like a pattern, like doing a like slow descent kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, it had a quick burn up, is what Smudge describes to you. Is there um, anything about it that feels familiar, or...? Roll a history with advantage. Okay. Or a perception with advantage. I'd rather do that. Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, that got really good. It was like a one and a six, and then the six just... So perception? Mm -hmm. 20 total. 20 total. Alright. Um, watching it, you... A. Determine, okay, this thing is coming in a little too slow for an orc drop ship. Yeah. Um, it's also coming in a little too slow for a Gret drop ship. Um, this actually, to you, looks like a kind of navy uh, deployment ship. Uh, not meant for, like, combat uh, insertions, but more for Officer or official type? No, more for uh, insertion, like a non-combat insertion. So like special forces. So like a stealth insertion. Yeah. So sorry, just to... Babs would have a better understanding of it than I do. Mm -hmm. A, who the fuck is the Navy still? I forget. Hobgoblins. Mm, the Hobgobs. Hobgoblins control most of the Navy for, like, council space. Mm-hmm. Seeing that, what is her, like, understanding of it? Um... Is it concerning, or is it... This is concerning. To her, personally? Yes. Um... Because this is a stealth special operations looking insertion. Mm -hmm. Why do they have lights on? It's uh, night time. Probably because somebody forgot. They're terrible at their job. Yeah, nobody said the hobgoblins were great at their job. It's the Navy. It's the Navy. Um, this is definitely a pattern for Navy, not like special forces for any other group. Because they are, they have sticks up their asses about protocols. So mm -hmm. it's basically just standard Marines. Mm -hmm. Rude. 
No, this is more like standard Navy SEALs. Babs will fight you. Are the SEALs supposed to be more elite than the Marines? Yeah. Babs will still fight you. She was a Marine. It's also <laughs> been like a 200. It's also not a Hobgoblin. The Marines are orcs. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm thinking more in human terms. Yeah. For, for personal understanding. Mm. This also might not be where they're planning on, like, they're not worried about people seeing Lights them. and all that because they're going somewhere else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. It's probably, like, the big thing that you're getting from this is that it's... They're not concerned about being seen because they're meant to be going somewhere else that's probably over a horizon or something. Okay. And just uh, to finish the visual for me, are they between us and where we're going, or can we veer around them? They are probably about a two mile, like off course from where you guys are. Like where they're heading is about two miles off course from where you're like driving. Okay, I'm going to straighten up the steering wheel. That's Navy. Special Ops. We're not fucking with that. Okay. You just drive past that? Avoid. Okay, I think it's in our. He line. said it's like two miles off. Okay, of okay. Our... Yeah. So I'm like. They are in correcting... between you and where you're going, but they're two miles off course from like where you would. So I'm basically correcting us to take a bit more of a wide berth around yeah. that area. Alrighty. Around we go. You can go back to sleep now. Can't she? <laughs> mm. She's gonna kind of like insomnia lay there for an hour. Alright. Yep, we avoid. Okay. You avoid it. Alright. Um, you're gonna drive through the night as well? Mm hmm. Alright. I sleep. Uh, can I, I get so. another D100? But please. Oh my god. Cat. Why? Why? Are you such. This is either really good or really bad. Uh oh. It's a triple zero. 100? Yes. Wow. You don't get to see all zeros that often. Well, you get to see triple zeros sitting at this table pretty regularly. No, we see ones. Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. He is not happy right now. I know, right? So, as you guys are traveling, you do, uh, you see somebody, uh, kind of walking along in the desert night. Uh, Fuck no. Walking along. Just... Describe them, please. Um, in the darkness, they are a little hard to discern, like what they are um they are humanoid um as you approach the engines of course screaming as loud as they can no they're not <laughs> the screaming is boosters we're not using those okay okay so as we have an actual normal engine for normal engine things now <laughs> <laughs> and then when we want to boost we yell at the 12 engines to go <laughs> How um, far into the shift is this? This is probably about four hours. Okay. Around this point, Babs is getting up. She's like bundled a blanket <laughs> and is like hunched in the passenger seat, like curled up. But like potentially feet on dashboard kind of deal. I'm assuming we still have a passenger seat. Yeah. Hmm. That wasn't taken away. It was... It's like a city bus, so it's weird. Yeah. It. The, it's more like a. Kind of like an RV bus. Okay. <laughs> so there'd be doors here, but and driver's seat here, but there's like passenger seat like right there. Yeah. It's got a passenger seat in the front, but it's got like two sets of doors on one side of it. Like cab door, trailer door? Or Yeah. Um you see that the person walking along the side of where you're driving is vaguely humanoid. Um, in the dark, you can't really see who they are. As you, I shine a spotlight on them. <laughs> Turn right. on the high beams. Yeah. Um, 
they do turn and like look towards uh, where you're coming from as you do that. Uh, you do see that their eyes are glowing. Um, you also see that they have... Are their eyes reflecting light or are yeah, they giving off light? like reflecting light. Okay. Uh, and you also see that they have an extra set of eyes on their face. Okay. Does that tell me what this is? Uh, not necessarily. They also have what looks like to be snake eyes. All of the eyes are snake eyes? Yes. Oh, so many ones. I'll leave. So, probably your, um, Yanji? Probably. Do Yanji have extra eyes? Not normally. I mean, the one that you know of doesn't. <laughs> I mean, she does, but they're on a separate being. They're on a separate snake. Yes. yes. Correct. You could wake her. And poke her foot. Okay. I'm imagining you're traveling a little slower now. Because yeah. you're like, uh. <clears throat> Okay, so you wake... Does this out. person appear to be armed, or you can't tell from the distance you're at? Wake up. You woke up. Yeah, Good. Mm-hmm. I'm glad I didn't have to escalate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you wake up. Mm-hmm. Um, Do you want to have two sets of eyes? <laughs> <laughs> Roll a medicine. <laughs> Is that not a history? Medicine or history. Where did he go? Ooh. Hiding. Look, I rolled the same one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> With advantage because she's a Yanti? Sure. <laughs> Natural 20! <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been a 14! <laughs> Alright. So, you kind of like, what? Four eyes, the uh, hell? Um. And you're like, no. And then you stop and you think about it and you're like, you're like, oh, oh, oh. Um, Abomination? The auntie abominations are a thing. Mm-hmm. Usually happens from extreme inbreeding. Yeah. Um, what, on this planet? On this planet? No. It's an abomination, that's fine. We'll just... Um, they also tend to be insane. Yeah. Uh, target practice? Test the plan. Yeah. Or I mean, we I mean we should just leave them alone. Just yeah, hmm. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? What's your alignment again? <laughs> what? I'm just waking up. I didn't quite hear what you said. Uh-huh. <laughs> um. Just a, a crazy, crazy person, most likely. Just go around. Okay. Don't yeah. need to make a fuss. Um. Yeah. As you uh, get closer, you do see that uh, as you basically step on the gas and like drive a little faster past them, uh, you can see that, yeah, the person has a humanoid face, but those second set of eyes looks like a snake head that's coming out of like their forehead. Ugh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, you can see that they don't have hands, they have uh, snakes. What looks like snake butts, snake tails, coming out of their uh, arms. Well, that sucks. Yeah. They should at least go with the ones with the hands, <laughs> with the faces. Um. Where is yeah. that guy? Probably on that shelf somewhere. Yeah, he's somewhere on there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he. You can see that uh, he sees the vehicle approaching faster, and he actually like steps towards the vehicle. Uh, as you go to drive past him, what do you want to do? If you insist. <laughs> I walk with him. Okay. <laughs> you drive past. I He does not have the strength for that. No. I already know. <laughs> it's like... I'm gonna drop him and kill him. Probably. Okay. Pick him up and drop him into the ram. <laughs> Um, nah, don't leave the dude alone. Well, I guess. He stepped in the way. Yep, true. Yeah, no, we can pass that. So, 
you lift him above the bus and lift him and then drive. Are you going to drop him into the ram or behind us? Behind us. Okay. Poor Saul. Alright. Go back to sleep. (laughs) She likes her sleep, okay? Yeah. Yanti inbreeding is kind of a... It's a thing. Yeah, it's also one of those things where they kind of... It's taboo. So. So. You guys continue going on. Um, It's about daybreak. When you see the... Uh, city of facility uh, rising up on the horizon uh, and at this point you can actually see multiple uh, ships coming down like landing there's only like two that you see in the time that it takes you to get to the front of the city of facility yeah um, as you, like, get there, you see that there are other vehicles lined up to enter the front gates. They're mostly, like, like armored trucks that you can tell are, like, filled with, like, ore of some kind. And there is a checkpoint gate near the front entrance, and it's a slow going in. Um, you can see that there are people with... Uh, like mirrors on the ends of sticks looking under vehicles Uh, there's like armed guards walking around the walls of the city have barbed wire on top of them Um, just as a note to say what should be said Babs is back to wearing her jacket again zipped up uh, Kevin Mm -hmm. what's Um, that present fuel subtraction I haven't done any Figure it out. We've done like two days travel now, right? From mm. Clayton. We did. Our day? Uh, like one, two, three shifts? Three eight hour shifts? Yeah. So. Yeah. That's what I've got written down. Yeah. Minus three, plus nine, minus ten for getting to him. So I just had uh, 22 plus 90. So less 40 on that. <clears throat> sure. Uh, so mm. we would have had two when we got to the gas station. Oh, okay. Because it was our entire fuel supply, basically. Mm. So we have ninety-two. A list. City Thirty to the city. Yeah. So we're at sixty-two. Okay. All right. Um, the guards don't have any like unified uniform. Um, but they all do seem to be professional, or so, acting professional at least. So it looks more like a, like a private security company than, uh... Yeah, they all have, like, similar body armor, mm. but all of it seems to be, like, any, everything else seems to be, like... Personal gear. Yeah, it looks like their own personal guns as well, kind of thing, as there's no uniformed gun on them. Uh... Some of them are wearing, like, cowboy hats, and others are wearing, like, baseball caps. But yeah. So they look like, um, high-class bandits? Kind of, yeah. They look like they get paid better than a bandit, or fed better than a bandit. So they look like they get paid? Yeah, <laughs> they look like they get paid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's probably a good idea of it, is it looks like they get paid. Um, but they also look like they probably aren't above taking bribes or being assholes but you you spend a long time in this fucking line trying to get into this fucking city we do need to put a little kitchen in here and uh it's about another hour before you actually get to the toll booth and uh the guy at the booth kind of like motions for the guys to do the walk around of the vehicle, that kind of thing. Um, he says, got the window rolled down, and he's like, what's your business here? Uh, we're looking for transport. 
He looks at the vehicle you're in and he's like... Off the planet? He kind of nods and like marks something down. <laughs> and he says, alright, well, probably not going to find a whole lot. Uh, just as a note. Uh, do you have any weapons with you? Yes. He's like, how many? He kind of like looks... Like, uh, Three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, ten. A bunch. <laughs> <laughs> ten plus. And you kind of like you. I'll put it down as an estimate. <sighs> Questionable. Mm, all right. Uh, there is a toll to enter the city. It'll be ten credits. Oh, it's that much? Oh, gosh. Does this guy look easily bribed? Roll an insight while I figure out what race he is. Okay. <laughs> well, super yeah. Cocked. Natural 20. When it lands on other dice, I don't think it quite counts. It landed on another die and was crooked. Yeah. Um, Which makes a 24 total. Yeah. Looking at him, at first he looks human, but then you see like the little nubs of horns uh, sticking out of his head. Oh, but... um, <laughs> and you do see like a look of a tail behind him. Uh, he looks bored. Um, as far as you can tell, he's not above taking bribes. But also, it's easier like, to just pay the toll. Yeah, he'd, he'd probably be like going like, "You're gonna have to give me more than that to." I have to do something, something actually interesting or worth it. Yeah. I'll just fork over ten credits. Okay. He nods. Uh, he says thank you. Now, uh, as a note, if you start shit, uh, there are guards on every corner, mm -hmm. and they will put an end to your shit, uh, and anything that is of value will not be taken to your next of kin, uh, and will be used by us or sold. We would, we would never, never. but it's been noted. Keep your guns in your holsters, and have a good day. Me. Before he moves away, is there a recommendation of a place we might be able to check? Best, best bet. He looks at you and kind of just like goes, "Lady, the only place that I ever really go to is the bar." Okay, thanks anyway. Bye. I'm sleep talking. Dirty, dirty bitch. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, <laughs> he waves you guys in as the, like, little bar for the entrance lifts up, and you head into facility. Yeah. This is a kind of, this is a small city. Um, it's got streets and places where you can drive to and that, but this is not, like, meant to be a big place. It's not a big town. Yeah, you can see that there is... a small is, city. <laughs> you can see that there is, like, a spaceport, which has, like, from where you're sitting, like, five atmosphere ships, or ships that can enter atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Um, it's only got room for five. Uh... And yeah, your these are big ships, by the way. Like, they're not small. There are probably smaller ones. Yeah, actual there. ships, not shuttles. Yeah, there's probably some smaller ships, but these ones are like the big, like ones that are meant for carrying freight. Four large numbers of passengers. Yeah. Okay, I want to get off this planet. Mm -hmm. as fast as possible. So mm -hmm. straight to the port? Are we selling 
The engine, or are we keeping that? If we can find something to put it in, keep it. It's probably better to be sold if we're going quickly. Okay. We'll do at least a, a day of hunting, <coughs> or do you want to yeah, be so off? We'd, we'd want to look for... Um, I want to say mechanics, but like a, a, maybe a scrapper or... A... Maybe we just go to the port first. Yeah. Figure out what the cost is. Mm. See if someone can direct us in a, in a direction of mm. mechanics slash yeah. scraps. Okay. Spark Wrecker? <coughs> what, what? Wrecker. Wrecker? Okay, yeah, I get yeah. you. I can always find death. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to head to the port first. Okay. See if there's uh, anyone, because if we can get on with this trailer and no extra charge, mm. yeah, and we can afford it, yeah. fucking go, right? Yeah. Um. So, you go to the port. Uh, you. In your travels, each of you have seen different kinds of ports. This one is set up poorly. It's not very organized. It seems like people are just kind of milling about. Um, you do find somebody who can uh, tell you what's going on. Uh, it is a lizard folk who is kind of like got like a pen and he's marking down things. Uh, you ask him about what's going on, uh, and he says, like, what are you guys, like, looking for? He seems to be, like, a dock master or somebody who would know quite a bit of information. Travel, off-planet, mm -hmm. vehicles, vehicle rules, passengers. He kind of nods and says, all right, uh... He kind of, like, does some typing in a little computer, um, he says, you have a vehicle? Yeah. He looks at the size of any, like, yeah, and, a tra and a trailer, a trailer. potentially. Uh, he kind of marks it, and looks, that's probably, what, like, 35 tons? Give or take. Kind of marks that in, okay, and he kind of goes, all right, you have essentially two options that I have listed. Okay. Uh, you can take the Anne Marie, which is a 200,000 credit. Uh, for passage. 200,000? Just a little bit. Yeah, that's third class. Oh. Okay, where's I was fourth? out of character. <laughs> uh, or uh, you could try and get passage on the Endeavor, which is uh, 175,000 credits, and you would be expected to work on the ship. Where's the local, um, mechanic slash wrecker? Uh... Who does maintenance on the, uh, shipyard ships? Uh, he kind of says, oh, if you're looking for maintenance, uh, that would be Bob. Bob? Yeah. Uh, a halfling. Where's Bob? Does he do much building? <laughs> Probably getting drunk or something. He's not a great guy. Uh huh. Perfect. Um, he's the one in charge of the rest of the mechanics in the yard. Okay. Uh, he kind of looks at you guys and goes, I have to ask, like, what's your deal what are you trying to do please besides, i mean yeah but uh 
Oh, another a good question for you, actually. Mm -hmm. um, where are these places going? The ships going? Uh, uh, Marie is heading to a. Uh, I remember what its log is, and he's kind of like typing through, and he's like. It's heading to a binary star system. Uh, have you heard of Terrell? Terrell? Terrell. You mean like the cards? That's Tarot. Um. No idea. Have I? Right? Uh, no. Okay. Nope. You probably have. No. Oh. <laughs> it's another blood sport planet. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's a different blood sport planet. Mm. Um, one of the main competitors for your guys, yours. Um, like, yeah. Uh, apparently a bunch of rich pigs have uh, decided that they wanted to see a death world. Came here. It was a bit boring for them. Tourism and are now heading on their way to a blood sport planet. Cool. <laughs> uh, and then he says, the Endeavor is heading to the planet of Deep Rock. Do we know anything about Deep Rock? Uh, it's a mining planet. Okay. Um... It's also one of the, like, main colonies for the dwarves. Okay. So. Interesting. Are dwarves miners, or are, in, are they in construction as well? Dwarves? Yes. They're in construction as well, but... Okay. Yeah. So yeah. we might be able to get a cheap ship. Yeah. Mm. Direct from the source. Um... But he says uh, they are going to be taking space lanes that take them through heavy pirate territory. Cool. We could always use more things that pirates have. That's fair. Uh, let's go figure out our options. Yeah. Is there a bounty hunter? Oh, I was going to ask yeah. if there's anything for sale. Ship wise, right? That or how do we make money? He does uh, also things. mention before you get going uh, if you're looking for something cheaper that I might not have on record, um, there's also a bar down the street that you could probably go ask some unsavory types. Any unsavory type in particular? Eh, I don't Definitely really Bob. spend a lot of time <laughs> down there, but. Uh, I do know that's where they hang out, so... Okay. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Bar name? The Vomiting Parrot. Oh, <laughs> wow, what a name! <laughs> I don't blame you for not going there now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, thank you for your time and uh, mm -hmm. patience. Uh, we will maybe be seeing you later. Yep. Yep. Take care. If you don't, we found something better. Or died. <laughs> yep. There's no skin off of my back. Oh, but it's my skin. <laughs> <laughs> Why would it be? I don't know. I'm just trying to be ominous. So. Mm -hmm. Where are you guys going? Far. Okay. Or do we want to check out Halfling Bob first? Oh. We want to go check out Halfling Bob first. Bob first. Because okay. he might be able to get us in touch with a ship. I I is there like a, a local traders area or... Traders? Ooh, like pick apart? Yeah. Thank you. Um, pick apart. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I go there to pick apart. No. Pick apart. Any part. Mm. It seems that like... Pick apart apart. Ships that couldn't pay the docking fee... Are being like an auctioned lot. Ooh, being yeah, auctioned. Like parts of them are being auctioned off. Um, they're not auctioning the whole ship. Yeah, they're not auctioning mm. the whole ship. Um, mainly because they had more money if they just auctioned the parts. Yeah. Uh, 
there are some smaller ships that are not like these giant, like big ships that you can see. There are some that look like, okay, you could probably fit the Banshee on that ship and that kind of thing that are parked nearby, but they're not like, I think the ones that, the five big ones <clears throat> that you guys can see, those are like the size of like multi-story buildings and the smaller ones are like the size of small houses. So if we compare them to the airplanes, it's like commercial airplane versus... Dinky two-seater? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, they're not even a two-seater. They might be like... The one-seater? Yeah. Six-person passengers? <laughs> um, if you cram in there. <laughs> <laughs> the clown car of airplanes. <laughs> the tight to the room. <laughs> You definitely see at least two that are that have military grade weaponry on them that they shouldn't have. So they have military grade weapons and not military grade insignias. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you go and try and find Halfling Bob. Mm -hmm. uh, you do find him. Uh, he's given orders to people who are taking the ships apart to have parts be auctioned. Mm -hmm. um, and he's got like a bottle of whiskey in his hand. He's just like chugging it from the bottle itself. And you, uh... Osha intensifies. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys do? Um, hey, Bob. I Bob? examine the ships from a distance. Okay. Are there any suited to our budget? The ones that they're breaking apart? Mm. Um, not really. There's none that are like, all of the ones that you can see that they're breaking apart seem to be smaller than what you would need. Mm. I would um, just like to verify before we go talk to Bob. What are we hoping to get from him? A free ship. Okay. Realistically, what are we hoping to get from him? A cheap ship. Okay. <laughs> All right. It doesn't need an engine. Right? Just like a hull at the very least. And then <laughs> we can take the seats out of the Banshee. <laughs> it just keeps getting... No, we, but, but what we do is we, we find a spot where we can put the Banshee at the front. And then we just sit in the banshee to fly the ship. Right? It's, you just drive the banshee and you connect all the things and then you drive the banshee to become because it because yeah, it's yeah, the ship. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Power Rangers. <laughs> We're going to become Voltron. Uh, yeah. Essentially what the one vehicle for what you see <laughs> the vehicles that he's breaking down are the equivalent of like space Winnebago. Hmm. Not space. Take my fucking car off this planet. Mm. But he might have something we don't see. Mm -hmm. In a place people don't go. How do you want to approach him? We going bubbly intimidation. Looking at this man, does he seem? Like the kind of working man who would be like, oh hell yeah, titties. Or does he seem like the kind of working man that's like, get the fuck out of here, you dumb bitch? Mm. Rolling insight. I'm busy drinking. Exactly. May I make that insight as well? Sure. Yeah, please do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eight. Oh, that's way better. It's not quite death, but it is something. Oh, wait. <laughs> I think it's a 17. It is. Yeah. Where's inside on this? Oh, there we go. Hmm, 17. Alphabetically, under I. Yeah. Not in a sensible place. I still have that problem with these sheets. Alright. So. <clears throat> 8 and 17. Yeah. 17. Okay. Um. 5? <laughs> I mean, he's not. Yeah. It's a five. hard to read, but like he seems angry, like makes sense, like perpetually angry. Um, anger with anger, mm -hmm. or sweet talk. These you... bastards are interrupting my drinking. 
You, on the other hand, like, you hear him talking, mm -hmm. and, like, at one point he berates somebody for not, like, cleaning something off well enough. Mm -hmm. uh, and the exact phrase that he uses is, I've seen whores clean off a cock better than what you've done here. Mm -hmm. So... Looks like they're, they're very good at their jobs. I mean, if you pay for it. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's he obviously not paying them well enough. Petrally angry, and everybody yeah. around him that he's like wide commanding around seems to be like vaguely afraid of him. He's less commanding them and more just bossing them around. Yeah. Just a rude asshole. Like, you can tell that nobody likes him, but they all have to listen to him because he's the boss. Yeah. Alright, I'm going in sweet and I know nothing. Good. Yep. Hello, um, are, are you Bob, perhaps? We're looking for Bob the, um, Builder. Ah. <laughs> 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 I didn't think of that. You didn't think of that? We've already said it, like, right. three times. I completely did not hear that. Chris has made several jokes. <laughs> I just finally said Builder. Um, oh no, I think he was the builder. Yeah, he, he, he did. He did yeah. say builder. Yeah. Oh god, he's an angry Bob the Builder. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> he, he turns and looks at you and is like, What do you want, ya whore? Oh, well, um, I'm just hoping to talk to you for a moment, if that's possible. About fucking what? Um, we need, we're looking for a hull of a ship, or a ship of any kind, please. I don't give out fucking freebies. Of course we're not looking for a freebie. We're just wishing to talk to you about what you have available. Available? I can tell you what I've got available. My fucking cock's available. I grab him by the throat <laughs> and lift him. <laughs> You've made her angry, sir. You shouldn't make her angry. Don't talk to women that way. <laughs> make an intimidation check with advantage. <laughs> you have just lifted him off the ground. That's pretty good. Uh, 22. 22? Alright. You, uh... He does give out a yelp of, like, fear as you do this. Um, and he kind of, you see his little, like, feet start kicking in the air as, like, he drops his, like, bottle of whiskey. Uh, you can smell that his... Did you just roll to try and catch the bottle? I rolled a one to catch the bottle. <laughs> it's Shatter's on the ground. <laughs> oh, I just did the one where I was gonna say it was Shatter's. Shatter's on the ground as you, like, reach your hands towards it and it's like, ow! Oh, oh. I wasn't expecting him to drop it. He's okay. a drunk. <laughs> um, and you can see him, like, uh, grabbing at your hands and he's like, let me the fuck go! I squeeze a little bit. Ah. And I say, don't ah. talk. <laughs> To women that way, and then um, I drop him. Okay. Also, I have a full murder face going on. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you drop him in the bottle or? I just let go. So it's probably in the broken bottle. Probably in the broken bottle. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's he's gonna be like yelling curses as he like gets a few cuts on his hands from like broken glass. So, so, sir, we're just looking to talk. Perhaps somewhere a little bit more private. And, uh, <laughs> at this point, he's just, uh, yelling to talk, like, yelling for somebody, and a or few people, like, start, like, him? gathering around, like, looking, and then somebody comes up and, like, uh, just, a, just a second. And they, like, you know, help him up and, like, uh, and say, like, we should go get you checked out, and somebody else comes and says, Hi, I'm, I'm, I'm the assistant manager here. Oh, can, wait, is it alright if we speak with you on his behalf? <laughs> and he's like, sure. This is another, like, halfling. He's like, yeah, hi. hi. Hello. Yeah. We're in the business of, uh, buying a, a ship or what, a piece of We are of looking to acquire. Yeah, choir, yes. I wouldn't say we're really in the business of it. True, but mm, we're looking to to acquire a hull of a ship or a ship or 
most of the um, ship. Most of the ship. Oh, all right. Uh, they're, they're looking around, and they're kind of like looking back at where the guy has been taken. They're like, uh, how big of a ship? Big enough to fit a bus and a trailer? I give him the no, approximate engine rating, and he kind of goes, uh, we don't have one of those for sale. Um, but we don't have one for sale. Which mm-hmm. means? No, we don't. We do have... There's a few that are held by the company for transports. But, uh... Are you looking to hire? Um, you are you looking to maybe that? shift some inventory? Uh, he... Like, I can't really do that. I'm sorry. It, it's not really a thing that we do. Okay. Um, I've stopped staring at the halfling bob. I just slowly turn my head at the person talking to us right now. <laughs> okay, and they're like, I would just, then it, how can we acquire one? Um, well, uh, probably not here. Where? I would be going to the next closest planet. We're trying to. Yeah. Okay. How do we get onto one of these ships for a reasonable fucking price? I mean... Oh, I've lost my sweet. <laughs> you could always ask <laughs> one of the, the smugglers. Ooh, okay. Uh, the vomiting parrot. Yeah. Um. I hear that they might be willing to do something, especially if you have something valuable. Um, we'll try there. Uh, all right. Um, Your boss is a dick, and you deserve better. I, yes. I know. Um, You're doing great. Yeah. It's a, this is a company town, so... Yeah. Uh, it, Does the company need anything done for it, which might be worth perhaps a ship? We're not working for them, we'll be freelancing. They can really do that. Mm. My goodness, he seems like he drinks a lot. It, it would be so sad if one day he just got alcohol poisoning and just didn't get this. this... Well, regular poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> I see. And maybe leave a knife in there. <laughs> Some needles in his drink. How hard have you tried? Fucking Rasputin. <laughs> <laughs> so they haven't shot him yet, or stabbed him multiple times. So you're saying or they should have just? Roof. I mean, the guards probably would have done mm. then. Right. He's got a few friends there. Of course he does. Yeah. Well, good luck. Thanks. Thank you for being actually helpful. Yeah. yeah. I could be more. Thanks for not being an asshole. He kind of goes, I, I have to get back to work. Yeah, go. Yeah. Sorry. Hey, yep. Well. So. Let's go to a bar. Let's go vomit. No. <laughs> <laughs> Rather pass on that one, thanks. Yeah. Alright. Um, you guys the head parrot. to the parrot. <laughs> um. Squawk. <laughs> Uh, it is a kind of, it doesn't look like a bar from the outside, it doesn't even have a sign on it, um, it does take you, like, a few minutes to be like, which one is it? Which building is this place? Mm -hmm. Right? Um, you do finally find it as, like, you see a few people who stumble out, like, drunk, um... And they, you walk in. Um, it's dimly lit. You can hear that there is like some music uh, going on. Uh, it kind of sounds like some dance music. You can see that there is one 
off in the corner, like stripper pole that uh, like a, a dragonborn woman is dancing at. Um, <laughs> I almost wrote the vomiting tits. <laughs> <laughs> that is a cake. How, how did it get worse? Right? <laughs> I was like, trying more titties. <laughs> so I. Yep. Um, Aren't those just snacks? <laughs> what? Well, that's where lizzle, lizard folk hide their snacks. Right. That's the lizard folk, not the, uh, dragon <laughs> the dragonborn. Mm. Yeah. Not my fucking world. <laughs> <laughs> titties for everyone. Every yep. race gets titties. Um, you, the dragonborn woman is dancing unenthusiastically for an unenthusiastic crowd wow. kind of thing. Mm. It's not great. Mm. Um, it's yeah, it's a low quality kind of setup. Uh, they don't seem really to care. It's more of just a, like, yeah, it's a form of entertainment. Yeah. yeah. It's like um, how when you have the TV on in a bar. Yeah. yeah. It's there. Yes, yeah. it's a sport. Mm. <laughs> yeah. um, you can see other uh, things. There is actually a TV in the bar. <laughs> um, it is broadcasting a, like, reel from a, like, Coliseum Let's Sport uh, kind of area. Um, you don't recognize where it's from. Um, seems to be some kind of death race. There's a big orc uh, manning the bar. Mm -hmm. uh, he is kind of like wiping down a few glasses. Everybody in this bar though mm -hmm. is like either big and burly or covered in weapons. Yeah. Um, you I'm the second one. <laughs> You, I am the weapon. Uh, Babs recognized the insignia of a couple of different mercenary companies. Um, hanging around. Uh, they're disinterested in stuff, and the companies that they work for tend to hire freelancers a lot. So, I'm sorry by that description. Not worth our time or worth our time? Not worth your time. Okay. <laughs> Like, I should just clarify. Um, but yeah, you do see that there's a few female waitresses wandering around, um, bringing drinks and that. Uh, you can also see that the orc bartender has a very large shotgun in very plain view. Good for him. <laughs> within reaching distance. I'm glad he didn't dangle it from the ceiling. Uh, that is, it's there for show, but you can see it's been used probably a couple of times, so, um, but yeah, never, nobody takes mind of you guys walking in at all, they don't seem to care. Do we want to be upfront about this? Just ask if, uh... I go up to the bartender. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Kind of Actually, you know what? Banshee. What? I've casted alarm on Banshee. Okay, good, good, good. Two point zero. Just call her Banshee. That's Banshee. fine. We've transferred her soul. Should be Banshee. <laughs> no. Uh, before I go up to the bartender, scanning. Anyone here looks like the kind of person we're looking for. I mean, most of the people here look like the kind of person we're looking for, but you see anyone's... a few. Do any of them look like they have ships? Right. You see a few people who are definitely armed, but also, like, they don't look like they're being, like... They look like they're armed because they have to be, not because it's their job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, you do see a couple of different people. One, like, lizard folk guy who has a couple of pistols at his side. Um, there's a Air Genasi woman who is kind of like lounging off in one of the corners uh, with a drink. Uh, her feet are like kicked up on the table kind of thing. Uh, and you see a like 
dwarven guy who's got like a large gun strapped to the back, <coughs> his back, and like an eye patch on him. Who is this or what? Hmm? He's a dwarven guy. Uh, he's over. He's closer to the stripper pole, but he's not in like the crowd of people watching. Um, but the lizard folk is near the bar. The Erginasi is near the uh, corner of the bar. And the dwarf is near the stripper pole. These people seem to be ones who. The way they carry themselves or the way they look, it makes them seem more like they're pilots rather than like meant to be combat people how do we want to play this one two three Lizard folk. You first. That's the correct choice. <laughs> you picked one. <laughs> I picked one. Uh, you step up to the. I'm gonna step bar. up to the bar next to the lizard folk, but as if I'm talking to the bartender. Okay. Uh, do you try and get the bartender's attention? Yes. Okay. You... Uh, <laughs> no, he... I'm going to pretend to talk to him while there's the other end of the bar. He walks over. <laughs> we got high. <laughs> Looks at you. He goes, "What can I get you?" Uh, hopefully, information. We're trying to find a way off the planet, and we're told to come here and take a look. Mm -hmm. But I'm wondering if you have anyone you can, you've known, recommend or advice. He kind of nods uh, and says, "Well, I can always." Uh, I find you something, but that's information that don't come free. Mm -hmm. And uh, he says, it's going to be a two credit thing. And you hear the lizard folk say, I don't give this bastard your two credits. I'm a pilot. I have a ship that I could always try and help you out with. And bartender looks at him and is like, <laughs> kind of like, bitch, that's what was, that was my two credits. <laughs> he, bartender no. is like, eh, whatever. Yeah. Not a big deal, mm -hmm. kind of thing. Um, but the lizard folk says, kind of, uh, yeah, I have a, a ship that uh, I use to bring things back and forth from places I'd like to go. Mm -hmm. uh, Souvenirs. Hmm? Souvenirs, what? yeah. Where are, you looking to, where are you looking to go? Somewhere else. Somewhere else. Not here. Yeah, this place is done. Uh, boring. No. Uh, Where are you headed? Yeah. <sighs> I was thinking heading over to, oh, you know, maybe the Gamma Quadrant. Uh, what's, what's there? That's worth your time. Uh, that's a. <laughs> are you talking to him? Well, okay. Do we know anything about the gamma? Oh, uh, squadron. Gamma race. <laughs> <laughs> the gamma. Each section of space is broken up into different spots. Okay. Um. Gamma quadrant is one that's used in several different locations. Okay. Uh, if he's talking about the closest one to this place, it's probably he's going to a pirate base. Okay. Um. Would you be able to make a stop on way? He's like, that depends. On? On how much you're paying and uh, Which where. How much you're charging? What's on the way? Yeah. He kind of smiles and says, well, I usually charge 75 credits for transport. Uh -huh. If you're bringing cargo, that's probably a hundred credits. Total per. or additional? Total. Here, I'll lay this out. Three of us, bus. Trailer? Maybe a trailer. Hmm, how big is this vehicle? Hefty. 
It's Yay, a, it's a you know what a bus is. It's a bus. He kind of goes, hmm, might be a tight fit. Oh, your ship's small? It's meant to be a runner. Mm. <laughs> Are you giving him that face? No, that's the player trying not to laugh. Okay. It's meant to be a runner. Just giving him laugh. High endurance. Very quick. <laughs> very, very quick, yep. Yeah. Totally. Small ship, very quick, sounds about right. What are the closest places that would we would be able to find more permanent transportation? Uh, he says, did we not space lagoon this? Yeah, the closest, yeah. Okay. The closest place that you guys would probably be looking to go would be Deep Rock. Um, they do some manufacturing of ship hulls and that. Okay. But, yeah. Um... He kind of states, like, with a cargo that size, I'd probably have to be charging you somewhere around 500 credits per person. Oh, that increased by a lot. Instead of the, so, instead of the 75. Okay. But that includes luggage, so... Yeah, yeah that is true. Luggage is always absorbently expensive. Hmm. Hmm. Because the luggage can't complain about the price. <laughs> and would there be an extra charge to drop us somewhere? Yep. How much? That'd probably be an extra, oh, 200 credits per. Per person. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. When are you leaving? Probably in the next couple of days. Okay. Once I get some of my cargo up on here. <laughs> Sorry. Players just like, how much cargo can you fucking fit around the bus, bud? But <laughs> cram the bus in there, start shoving things off to the side. <laughs> Don't scratch her paint. I mean, that stuff probably has its own uh, special holds. Valid. Park the bus on it. <laughs> oh no, there's a bus. I'm carrying a bus. <laughs> there's truly nothing else on this ship in cubby holes and secret compartments or nothing. Just park one of the tires. Mm. The treads directly on the... Anyway. Uh, I think we might uh, think it over, talk it over, if that's okay with you. He kind of says, all right, but I offer the best prices. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Alright, so. Do we want to talk to the bartender? Or do we want to just... We have two more, two more options. The reason I went to the bartender was to get that guy to talk to me. Sure. Naturally. Mm -hmm. Without me being like, hey, you look like a smuggler. <laughs> Alright, shall I just go along the line two next? Uh, so you said the second one was an air genasi. Yeah. Um, and third one was dwarf over by the stripper pole, but not paying attention to yeah. the dance. Yeah, he seems to be more like having a drink and going through some like yeah. records and stuff and paperwork. Might be worth it to go to the dwarf, maybe if we're trying mm -hmm. to go to Deep Rock. The thing is, mm. that's just me hitting back there. Right. Um, I have a question about Terrell. 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 Terror. Is that another one that's close by? It is close by. But uh, further than Deep Rock. Yeah. So, and you said it's a blood sport world. Yeah. Does that mean combat y organized? Yeah. Organized combat. With rewards? Sometimes. And often death? And often yes. death. Just an there, option. There is expected to be death. Yeah. Doesn't have to be our death, but. I think our best bet stands with getting our own ship. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Yeah. Well, I was just thinking yeah. win a ship, but I don't know if they did prizes that large. 
Probably not. No. Not at the, the scale we'd be looking. Right. Okay. As you guys are debating on who you go talk to, you can see somebody saddle up next to the, or across the table from the air genasi and start talking to her. Ooh, can I see what they're talking about? Um, and what are they? It looks like a, uh, we will say that it is a Lupin who saddles up and starts talking to her. Um, Not what I was asking. Oh. But okay. What? What are they? Do they look like a smuggler? Do they look like a... The person that she's talking mm-hmm. to? Yes, this Lupin. Uh, you're not quite sure. He kind of looks like a mercenary of some kind. Um, I send Opal their way, just kind of on the floor, just she's exploring sneakily okay. and heading in their general direction. Looking for rats. Yeah. So I'll Small hang on rats. to somebody and uh, yeah, look. I'm doing the. You'll uh, let your seeing eye like Opal guide you. Yeah. I'm doing a her senses thing. All right. Uh, they just seem to be talking about uh, a particular job that has happened recently, from what you can gather. It seems to be a lot of layers of coat and euphemism. Thieves can't. Yeah. Um. Space thieves can. <laughs> Based okay. on her demeanor, does she seem a little bit more friendly? Like, I know she's a smuggler, but is she on the, like, friendly, yeah, I'm interested in doing business side of things, or the step wrong and I'll cut you side of things? Roll an insight. You are insight. What? Hmm? What did you say? Nothing. <laughs> 22. I'm not tired of okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> dying here. <laughs> she seems currently talking. She seems relaxed. She's uh, got her arm kind of like slung over mm-hmm. uh, the back of the booth chair that she's at. Um, one hand resting on like her lap. Uh, again, feet kicked up onto the table. Um, she seems relaxed, kind of like has a Something of a cocky smile. I'm just trying to figure out how to approach her. Probably just honestly, maybe. Okay, we're looking to get to Deep Rock. And, uh, we need to ride. There aren't any, like, junkyards or that sort of thing around nearby, are there? Not really, no. Mm-hmm. There's probably one in the city somewhere, but... No, I mean like, uh, where you would dump extra ships type thing. Yeah, no, yeah. not really. Maybe we hit the dwarf next while mm-hmm. this lady's having her conversation. Mm-hmm. It's nothing, yeah, I can't get anything out of it. I call it Opal back. Okay. Um, give you hear back. So, you head over towards the dwarf? Yeah. Does he have, does it look like the papers he's looking at involve maps, or? Uh, looks like it involves some accounting. Oh. Huh. Can I get a, like, really basic read on his demeanor? Um, yeah, roll an insight. Oh god. Natural one. After a hell of a dance. Natural one. Okay. Um... No. He's just too big for I mean... The... I've never been good at reading dwarves. Right. Yeah, he looks You can't even tell if it's old. female or male. You look like a pilot. He kind of looks up and goes, huh? Hi. Yeah? Mm. We're looking for a ride off this planet. Oh, yeah. Alright. Do you mind if we sit? 
Okay, go ahead. And he kind of like moves the papers to kind of be uh, squared away so that he can't see what he's looking at. Yeah. But also that they're still there. He's not like putting them away, but he's making sure we're not reading them. Yeah. He's like, so you're looking to get off this planet? Yes, yep. please. Hmm. Well, that uh, is going to depend. He kind of looks around at the three of you. He says, uh, it's probably going to be a hundred credits per. Depends on whatever luggage you bring. I will shift that and explain that we have a, uh, a bus and a trailer. And a trailer. Okay. Can you ask, uh, how big is this uh, bus and trailer? Hey, big. Okay, it's a bus. And a trailer. It, it, like 20 foot trailer? 15? 10? I don't know, actually know. DM? Uh, he probably looking more at tonnage at this point. Well, how, he asked how big time. the trailer is. Yeah. How uh, big is the trailer? Because that determines large. the tonnage. Relative to what? I'll put it this way. Typical, like semi or five ton trailer that you get would be 30 feet long. Yeah, you're looking at something that's probably more like 25. Oh, oh great, we cut off five feet. Yeah. That's massive. Who's feet and it really? just has the engine in it. Some random and, from space. And the biker. <laughs> yes, and the biker. Okay. <laughs> so I'll relay the actual information to him. He kind of nods and goes, hey, that's a pretty big uh, piece of cargo you're bringing. Right. Yes. I can fit it onto my ship, but uh... It's a big ship. <laughs> Kidding. I can fit it onto my ship, no problem, but uh, the tonnage on that is gonna be fucking massive. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where are you headed, by the way? He kind of goes, I'm heading to Terra. Next, next uh, couple of days. Hmm. Don't want to stop by Deep Rock on law along the way at all. Deep Rock is in the opposite direction. Damn mm. it. We were hoping to go to Deep Rock. Mm. Unfortunately, I'm not in there. Well, I don't think we're opposed to Terrell. All right. Uh. What, what do you think? Of salvage though? opportunities are on Terrell. Salvage opportunities. Oh, is that to the dwarf or the DM? That's to the dwarf. Okay. Probably plenty. Probably plenty. Mm. I'm uh, delivering a new round of ammo to the uh, planet soon. Mm. And maybe some weapons. Pretty cool. Um, are would any we... of them interesting? Could I have a look? A few of them are interesting, and no, you can't have a look. Aww. Is this man Russian now? I'm so confused. I... You're Russian now, I get it. You've made your way to Russian. Yep. <laughs> the dwarves have left Scotland. Uh, it actually hit New Zealand for me a couple times. <laughs> Just on like, the ending of words. It was nice. It was a nice little flourish. Um, so, cost. For the tonnage of cargo that you're bringing, mm -hmm. uh, you're probably looking at, uh, I'd have to say, about 8,000. That's for the three of you and your cargo. Is there an extra fee to drop us at Daryl? Or is that the a whole all-encompassing price? I mean, if you're looking to disembark without your cargo, no. no. But uh, if you're looking to disembark with your cargo, yeah. Okay. Like on Terrell? Yeah. We do want our things, yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're just gonna stick them on a ship. That'd and... be an extra 2,000 credits on that. How much? 2,000. What are the. I'm sorry, uh... that's for all three of us and the cargo, inclusive. What are the ship opportunities in Terrell? To get. Mm -mm. To get our own. Oh, they tend to auction off ships from those who have lost. Decent price or nah? 
I would say decent price. Decent where price. Where I got my ship. How much was your ship? About 50,000 credits. Holy shit, these tickets are unbelievably expensive. Oh, but it's just a bigger ship. Also, we got the thing. Wow, okay. Well, okay, reasonable. Mm, absolutely. His ship cost half an engine. Don't worry. <laughs> when are you planning on leaving? Uh, in a couple of days. Okay. Well, we're just kind of scoping it out, getting an idea. That's fair. But uh, if we're interested, we'll let you know. Okay. All right. Uh, as you guys kind of are finishing up uh, talking to him, mm -hmm. uh, you hear a loud bang ring across the bar, uh, and you kind of look over to where it came from, and you see the Lupin that the Air Genasi was uh, talking to, kind of like clutching his chest, and then like he falls to the floor and she's got a pistol. Like, she's still in that relaxed, mm -hmm. like... She's done a Han Solo. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. The Lupin shot first, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he doesn't have a pistol in his hands, so no. Oh, he so did. No, 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 we just see you uh, in later. He clearly yeah. dropped it. Right? <laughs> Free gun. Um, and you see, like, every other patron kind of look over at where she is, and she's like... Like, holsters it back in, and the bartender kind of, like yells and you see a few like Warforge come out and like pick up the body of the Lupin and uh, walk off. Now it looked like they were talking business, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to head over to her. Okay. Looks like you have a, might have an opening. She kind of goes, no, the other guy does. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> she uh, says, well, maybe. Depends. Of course, uh, if you're a bounty hunter, don't be coming talking to me anymore. We just saw what happened to the last one. I'm not a bounty hunter. We are just trying to get off this fucking planet. Alright. Well, have a seat. Thank you. Stop business. Alright. Three of us. Plus, yay big trailer, a big bus, this weighs so much, we're hoping to go to Deep Rock. Deep Rock? Deep Rock. The rocks are deep there. But, that also depends on where you're going. True. We can she kind of looks at you guys and goes, let me guess, talk to the other two that have ships in this bar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take the best for last. How much did they charge in you? One. Quite a bit. One, quite a bit. Ah, not as much. But a bit swarmy? I just don't think his ship it's is very suspiciously big. suspiciously yeah. low. Correct. We will probably get janked. Alright. Oh. So, three of you, what's your cargo? A, a bus. bus. Just a explained. Yeah, she explained the... Okay. Except, yeah. Now I just, yeah. You go yeah. around, you explain yeah. what it is at this point properly. Yes. Um, it's like, all right. Where are you headed? I don't really have a destination right now. Okay. I'm here looking for a job. Okay. Can we hire you as a pilot to take us to Beep Rock? Sure. Okay, how much do you charge? How much were they charging you? Uh... We got uh, 21 on one and 10 on the other. Good spread there. Hmm. She kind of... Sorry, when I say 21, 2,100 and then 10. 2.1 and 10. 2.1, thank you. Yeah. Babs would know that. <laughs> My brain's gone. She says... 10,000, eh? That's the dwarf, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah, he's always charging way more than he should. I wouldn't trust that lizard folk either. 
No? It's working with pirates. It's yeah. looking for victims. Yeah, that's what it sounded like. Suspiciously low. Yeah. So what's your deal? For the three of you and your cargo to Deep Rock? Yeah. 3,000. And you can fit us in? Yep. Ship. All right. No problem. Uh, what do you Can I... Do? I'm sorry. Can I just insight check her on, like... Does she seem like she's being sin not sincere, but like upfront about it? Like this is a deal she's not intending to fuck us over? Roll an insight. Sure. Not so good. Ten. Ten? Mm -mm. She seems sincere. It's not like she's trying to fuck you over or anything. It seems like she's just trying to find a, a deal and a job. Um, she also is preferable to the men, right. frankly, for Babs. Um, and yes, when were you planning on going? Because the sooner the better is for us. As soon as you want. Sorry, I would like to clarify. The 3000 for everything. Everyone else has been charging a, uh, we'll say disembark fee. It's always bullshit. Don't trust anybody who charges a disembark fee. Thank you. So 3000 all in? Yep. I don't want your shit on my ship. <laughs> That's fair. It's upgraded shit, but it is still shit. Keep in mind, <laughs> I'm not liable for anything that happens to you on the way there. If we run into pirates and you die, all of your shit is mine. I hope you enjoy the party bus. <laughs> it doesn't have a kitchen. Well... I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Good renovation project. As well, I do expect you to do some work on the ship. Mm -hmm. Sure. You know, mostly scrubbing floors, that kind of shit. I'm very good at supervising. Don't touch any of the wiring, please. She just kind of looks around at whichever one of you reacts the worst to that. <laughs> My eyes are definitely not shifty there. <laughs> I I think Babs immediately looks at Smudge and then also just squints at Alex like what do I do? I'm the entertainment. The like disassembler and the hacker. Don't touch the fucking wire. Look, I don't wanna wreck this shit while it's while we're in it. What? Hmm? Hmm. I'm considering things. Mm. So yeah, uh, Should we go now? If you want, we can leave at the end of the day. You wanna go? Let's go. All I right. like you. I don't know why. Maybe just because you're female and not an asshole yet. <laughs> oh, just that's your shoot. standards. You're going to be sorely disappointed. You by just the watched galaxy. her shoot a man. Yeah, but he probably deserved it. I don't know. <laughs> she did just state that he was a bounty hunter. Yeah. Uh, which implies that she has a bounty on her head. I'm yeah. fine with that. <laughs> right? Yeah. So... Is it lots? Because if she dies to pirates, we can turn the bounty in. <laughs> <laughs> Do not say that out loud! <laughs> <laughs> well, if she gets all our shit if we die to pirates, we should get all her shit if she dies to pirates. Correct! <laughs> yes, you're absolutely right! Okay. okay. We go? We go? We go. Tell you. All right. Meet me at platform D. Any recommendations for supplies? <sighs> Food, water, all the standard stuff. I don't have any crew cabins. We have a bus. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and... <laughs> I, I fucking love our bus. <laughs> Sorry. That uh, if you are looking for a particular type of vehicle when you get to Deep Rock, I'm assuming you're heading there for its manufacturing. Mm. No, and, uh, we're going there for the uh, the lovely vacation opportunities. Yeah. Uh, I would probably buy some EVA suits. Good note. Also, if you ever need a co-pilot, there's this lovely, lonely dude, uh, Clayton. He's got a... Uh, Gas station not too far from here. Yeah. 
very lonely, sad man. Is he Maria's son? I Maria think stripper? so. Maria is a stripper, yeah. Probably. I don't want to meet him. No, you don't. <laughs> I mean, we got some stuff. She's from him. a lovely lady, but I've heard stories about her kids. They are interesting, that's for sure. Yeah. Does she just have two? Probably not. I'm so glad we only met two. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So rations, water, EVA suits. How long does it take to get there? Do we know that? Would we know that? Would Wikipedia know that? We don't have... Stop saying brand names. <laughs> It's not Wikipedia, Man. it's Space Lagoon. Space Lagoon, isn't that? Space Lagoon Maps. Space Lagoon Translate. Lagoonpedia. Space Lagoon, what else does do? Because <laughs> 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 they <laughs> Drive. Glasses. Calendar? Yeah. A calendar, yeah. yeah. El Mayo. LaMail. <laughs> I think they do get your will have an idea of how far it is for next time. Mm, valid. Um, yeah. But yeah. So then we will buy rations next time? Yeah. We'll buy rations this time and figure out how much it costs next time. Yeah. <laughs> um, am I going to be able to get graspers on my hamster ball? <laughs> Sorry, say that one more time? <laughs> Graspers? Yes, I'm a hamster. Yeah, so like... <laughs> you should get like... I think it'd be really cool to get like tattoos of mage hands so that they basically just copy your hands instead of distance mm. you're just, you have two of you're them. You're basically just, like, just trying to Spider-Man without the web. Well, no, like, so I'm just picturing like... <laughs> Well, it's not like I'm going to bring myself <laughs> towards it. Well, it's I'm not sure. like I'm attached. You are attached to the mage hand. It has a range. The mage hand is attached to you. Is it really? That's, it, it would be, yeah. There's no, just a there's, separate, like... It, it the, is the separate, hand, but... The mage hand can't go further than 30 feet away from you. Yeah. Otherwise it's it vanishes. It's tethered. It's attached to you. Yes, but not physically. Obviously. Yeah. There's a very thin trail of <laughs> from your hand to the mage hand. <laughs> uh, all right, very... okay, all right, <laughs> you win. <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> all right, nice. so, uh, she tells us what platform to go to. Mm -hmm. We're docking um, on D. And uh, when you do get to that ship, uh, you can see that it is one of the ships that has some illegal military-grade weaponry on it. Um, the cargo bay is large enough for your bus and cool. the trailer. She does take a look at the engine, and she's just like, that's a nice engine. Yeah. Don't get us killed by space pirates. <sighs> if you get us killed by space pirates, I'm taking you with me. <laughs> she's like... Don't worry. I might be a smuggler, but I am a woman of my word. Do you have any crew? No, it's just me. Just well, me. and us. This well, ship us, only yeah. needs a minimum of one person running. I don't it. think we're That's allowed cool. to count as crew. Mm. She won't let us touch wires. Mm. Yeah, and you're... We're housekeeping. Your WCB wouldn't cover it. We're <laughs> subcontractors. WD40. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Oh. No, we're currently moving. We don't need that. Yeah. <laughs> Duct tape? We're not supposed to not move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. um, yeah. Entering ship, you do find the other things that... Oh, did we get the EVA suits? I will say yes. Okay. We will talk about how much those cost later. Hamster ball, fuck yeah. Hamster ball, fuck yeah. Are you going for a hamster ball EVA suit? I mean... I'm going to go with no, initially. But, but later we'll on, a hamster ball would actually be pretty good for a... We will look into For this. a mechanic. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Um... 
Yeah. Okay. You find a few things that are, like, on her ship that are not legal for her to own. It's okay, we're not legal either. Um. <gasps> well. This ship also looks like it's been through hell. Um. And if you wanted to roll an animal handling, you could figure out how old this vehicle is. I don't have that. I handle your animals. <laughs> I'll still roll just to see. Right. Do I get advantage because I'm used to nope. cobbled together all sorts? Sure. Woo! I rolled a 1 and a 19. That, that <laughs> crown of yours. Yep. Uh, 25. 13. <laughs> no. 6. <laughs> Alright. Um, I don't know details about vehicles, I just know how to drive them. Alex, you take a look around the vehicle, like this ship, and you're like, this place is dirty, it sucks, Uncapped. it's not, like, a proper, like, this thing has got, like, the archaic last... fucking comfort to it. Mm -hmm. The last like... cleaning crew was killed by pirates. <laughs> um, <laughs> Smudge, you are taking a look at this vehicle. This thing is probably pushing, like, 500 years old. Um, with how many, like, retrofits and things you see. You see things that are, like, that are still operational, that are, like, 300 years old. Oh. Um, this is definitely a ship she inherited from somebody. Um, inherited. Anyone, oh, any other place, this ship probably would have been scrap. Mm. Um, so, yeah, and seems to be in, like, perfect working order, too, so. Except for the dirt. Except for the little bit of grime. There's a few stains on the walls that, like, it's like that's not that's not coming out. <laughs> and that's the cleaning crew. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. The ship is pushing an old age. It's an elf nearing retirement. Um, I level up. Okay. As soon as we get this, like, cheaper, like 1,000 each. It's 27, yeah? I'm checking. Double checking. 47. Nope, that's one too many zeros. Three, two, six, five. And I think we'll call it there for the night. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, if you want to know the song that I used for this session, uh, the link is down below. And the title is on the screen. Thanks for watching. Bye.